Ladies and gentlemen, may I have a moment of your time, please? The wine poured in your glasses was made from an Aboriginal grape variety. Aboriginal means local, and we almost lost them. I'm sure you all remember what happened in the past. 30 years ago, there was a movement that led to a tragedy. They wanted to get rid of all the vineyards in the country. Yes, they waged the war on wine. Hundreds of grape varieties, unfortunately, sunk into oblivion. The livelihoods of many were crippled in the process. However, the Three Queens variety has successfully risen from the ashes. This variety of grape is here with us again. As you can see, this type of wine tastes fantastic. Give it a try, everyone. This is an excellent wine. So for the record, at his own apartment in the city, we discovered the body of the director and owner of the winery in the town of Chernomorsky. Mikhail Pogodin. The victim's year of birth is 1958. Next to the body of the deceased, we found medication. What do you think, Detective? Maybe these are his. Perhaps he was taking those medicines regularly. It's not wise to make that conclusion just yet. We'll have to wait for the medical report. Scattered around the room are... So I said to him, Hey, Dad, how about you buy me a new car? And guess what he said? How about you ask your fiancé to buy you a car? And I said, Daddy, you know perfectly well that he can't do that. But on the plus side, he is so handsome. We will have beautiful babies. Which means I made the right choice in life. Genia. Don't look at me like that. <sighs> There's nothing to worry about, okay? Because when my father finally meets you, he'll realize that you're not just a pretty face. And that you have something in here, and that is worth a lot. Come here, kiss me. Genia, please don't. Don't do that. We're out in public. Hey, by the way, thank you. Um, prepare yourself next weekend. We're going to Paris. Me, you, mommy, and daddy. And I'm telling you, you can't say no to me this time because 20 people are going and we'll all be there to celebrate the anniversary of my parents. My daddy rented this amazing villa, so there's absolutely no way for you to wriggle your way out of I'll it. I'll think about it. You don't have to think about it. I thought it all through. Just do as I say. Hold on, wait a second. I said no phones when you're with me. This may be my academic supervisor calling me. When you're with me, just focus on me. Give me the phone back. Hello, who is this? Is there Victor Pogodin? Yes, what do you need? There was an accident involving your father. We need you to come here to Chandlamorsk immediately. What happened to my father? He's dead. He's what? I don't understand, Colonel. If the door was open, they had to use their own key. There's no evidence of breaking and entering. Which only means it didn't happen in the house, but in the son's apartment instead. His wife lives in their country house. The whole town practically knows that their relationship is on the rocks. Mm -hmm. Actually, it wasn't she who made the call, but his manager. He called us up. Bogodin did not show up at the factory for three days already. He tried calling him, but he wasn't picking up. His son, Victor, left for school in Moscow years ago. Ah, so the son is in Moscow, you say? Uh-huh. You're not going to Paris with us, right? I moved heaven and earth to make this trip possible. 
Listen, they told you your dad had an accident. There's nothing you could have done to save him, so what's the point of going there? If you need money, don't worry. My family will lend it to you. Just name your price. Xenia, just shut up, would you? Have you forgotten who you're talking to right now? Have you forgotten what I've done for you? I'm standing here before you, begging you not to leave. And you haven't even proposed to me the entire time we've been together. I've been patient with you. I have the luxury of choosing any man I want. Come on, just tell me the truth, Victor. Tell me, who really called you? I don't believe it. What if it's just a setup? What setup are you talking about, Jenya? He was murdered! Murder, do you understand that? I have a plane to catch in two hours. I have to go now. My mom's there. Good day, sir. Good day. You called, sir? Mr. Yuri, it will only take a minute. Please have a seat. What do we have on Pogodin? Everyone stay on high alert. I repeat he was a pretty prominent public figure in this town. It's a high-profile case. Here's what I have, sir. The medical examiner is still working on it, but here's the preliminary body examination. A blow to the head delivered by a heavy blunt object. Maybe he fell on his own? He lost consciousness and then bled to death. Mm, that's not good at all. The man was only 56. We often went around in the same circles. He was nice. I can't seem to recall anything bad about him. Colonel, we're following up on every scenario. Maybe he had some competitors. His business isn't doing well lately. Because his hot temper is a liability. I would like to say he's the conservative type. He neither understood nor recognized anything new. I think otherwise. He was a very honest man, and he was fearless. I personally confirmed it's true. I'm suspecting something else, and they are not about Bogodin's business. They're about his private life. And what is it? You are aware that his wife is having an affair, right? She is? Why do you think I'd know such things? I don't like gossip. Those are for bored women only, who have nothing better to do. <laughs> he didn't show up at home nor at work for three days, and that didn't seem to bother you at all? You didn't call him? You didn't think to ask where he was? Listen, Detective, I told you already. My husband is a stubborn man who has a short temper. He always had a clear view of what he wanted. He wouldn't listen to anybody, and that includes me. He lived a secluded life, and to be honest, he didn't let anyone in, even his family. When was the last time you saw your husband alive? I didn't rush to look for him at first because over the past few months, he hasn't been living here, but in another apartment, the one he bought for our son. He only came here to pick up some papers that he needed for that work. That day was the last time? The last time? He came here last Friday. I'm sorry to ask this, but were you planning to divorce your husband? How dare you? How dare you? How could you ask such personal questions? Oh, good grief. That has nothing to do with my husband's death, nothing at all. Why would you ask that? Excuse me, officer. I need to take my sedatives because everything is so overwhelming. I need to calm down first. We are all adults here. Everything's different now. Relationships between adults get complicated as time passes by. 23 years married, that's long enough to- Long enough to grow tired of each other? No. Long enough to take a break from each other. And we were not going to get a divorce. Anyway, our son is getting his master's degree at a good university in Moscow. And well, he'll be here any minute now and he can't see me like this. He's been through enough trauma, as it is. I'm begging you, please leave me alone. All right, I'll get going. But keep in mind that I will be back. 
please tell me. Are you familiar with the will your husband left behind? I can't believe how insensitive you are. What will are you talking about? I have no idea about that. I'm not stupid. I know what you're trying to say. Get out of my house. Get out of here. And don't ever come back. Darling, please calm down. Please calm down. Come here. Mom. It's all right. Just take it easy. Sorry, it's going to be all right. Okay. Everything will be all right. It's Your son so Victor will be here soon, so calm down, please. Okay, my love. You better greet him with no tears in sight, right? All right. There you go, good. It's I gotta okay. go. No! Please don't leave me alone. Ella, Ella. No, Sergey, okay. don't leave me. Ella, darling, please get a hold of yourself. We're in a tricky situation right now. No. Listen to me. You must expect the authorities will be snooping around here for some time. Listen, no. that's why you'll have to do your best not to say anything wrong. I can't do right? this. I can't yes, do this. Yes, you can. Pull I yourself together. This, okay? Yes, you can. I'm begging you, don't leave me alone. Oh, sorry, okay? All right, I'll talk to my uncle. Don't you worry. Will he really come back? Yes, he'll come back. You I will? promise you. Just leave the back door open so I can sneak in easily. Right. I just hope your son won't be waiting at your bedroom door. Can you make sure of that? It's okay. It's You didn't take your medicine? What? Did you take your medicine? I don't remember anymore. I just don't. I don't remember, Sergei. Look, Ella, darling, you have to take your medicine. Please sit down. That's it. Take this. There. Very good. Sergei, my love. I have to go. I love you so much. Sergey, I love you. I'm so scared, Sergey. Darling, Ella, I can't relax. do this alone. I need you beside Darling, me. Please, please don't leave you me, need to Sergei. pull yourself I'm together. You. Don't ever let your guard down, all right? Yes. Do you understand? No. I really have to go now. Please get your act together. Why did we have to come here and not just meet in your office? Afraid someone's spying on us? Let's talk about Mr. Pogodin's last will. The last will was written two years ago, and it has clearly stated who is his successor. Mr. Pogodin chose to leave his winery, the vineyards, and their house to his wife, Mrs. Ella Pogodin. The son will inherit only the apartment and a small amount of money. Why didn't he make his son his successor? Hmm. I'm sorry, but my area of expertise is documents. Documents. If you were to ask me as a person and not based on my position, then listen carefully. First, obviously, he rightfully believed that the mother would look after their only child, although that child is a 23-year-old man. Secondly, um, Bogodin loved her very much. She's very beautiful. A mysterious woman, I would say. Anyway, you had your chance to see that. And I'm sure you would agree with my assessment. So, can I help you with anything else? No. Thank you for your time. If that's the case, then I'll go ahead. I have a meeting. Flight 1844 from Moscow to Chesnamorsk has arrived. Speak to all the passengers. Please go to the baggage area to collect your luggage. May you have a good day ahead. Victor. How are you? I'm so sorry. Come over here. I'm sorry for your loss. All right, let's go now.
Avo, how is Mother handling everything? I should tell you the whole truth now. It's better that you hear it from me than from other people. What is it? She has been seeing a very young man, long before this happened, actually. She fell in love with someone else. That's what she said, and she didn't keep it a secret anymore. That's how her relationship with your father ended. Hang on, what young man are you talking about? What are you trying to say? Just what I said. She had an affair with a young man who could be her That's son. That's a lie, you hear me? That can't be true. Victor. What? You are a grown-up now, so don't deny the truth. You have to learn how to handle the truth, no matter how it hurts. Stop lying once and for all! You are lying because you hate my mother! And you have always hated her! I've known this since I was a child! You will see for yourself. No. Nah, you can save it! I'm not going anywhere with you! Don't speak ill of my mother again! You have an appointment at 6 at the mayor's office, Mr. Mm -hmm. Nelia. There will be reporters from all the local TV channels. Okay. Refreshments for the buffet are ready. Get a better cognac for my storage. Do it right now. Mm -hmm. Of course, I already did, sir. Madam boy, very good job. You got an A for behavior. Uncle Ilya, I need a quick word. Dennis, you can go now. Hmm. Mr. Ilya, should I go? Dennis! What do you want? I think you already know why I'm here. Of course I know why. <laughs> the whole town is talking about what happened. Did that detective go to see her? Yes, he did. We have to be more careful. What about the will? I'm sure it's been released. Who did he leave the winery to? <laughs> she got it. And well? Well what? Why are you looking at me like that? I mean... No, I'm not going to marry her uncle. So don't even bother asking me. I'm not going to marry that old hag. No way. <laughs> don't you tell me what to do. Now I'll decide myself whether I'll order you to marry her or not. For now, I will ask one thing. Just be careful. Got that? Uncle, listen to me. Hey, don't do that. I'm sorry. Well, you know, that's bad luck. What is it? Could you close this case quicker, huh? That detective investigating the case won't stop until he gets to the bottom of this. I heard them talking the next room. I know you can make him stop with just one phone call. Uh, oops! <laughs> this looks like a check to me! Check! <laughs> Hello. Yes, Mr. Ilya, I'm listening. I got it, Mr. Ilya. I understand. Yes. Yes, but... All right, Mr. Ilya. I will put an end to it. Mm-hmm. <laughs> Get me Detective Litvinov right this instant. He's out now, and we'll be back today, Colonel. Call him and get him back here right now! I want him in here today! All right, sir. Mom! Oh, Victor. Mom. I'm so glad to see you. Don't worry, I'm here now. It's all right, Mom. Don't be afraid. I'm here now. Mom, everything's gonna be okay. It's all right. Calm down. I'm here for you. Oh, my dear. Let's go to the house, okay? Right. Hold on to me. Come on. It's okay. Everything will be all right. Calm down. Come on. Let's go.
I'm sorry I couldn't meet with you earlier. I had to meet Victor. He's Pagodin's son. So he already came home, I see. Yes, he just arrived today, but I have a favor to ask. Could you please leave the boy alone at least until the funeral? He's a little, uh, worked up right now. He is 23 years old. He's already an adult. Really? He's still too young in my eyes. I have known him since he was a little boy. Uh, his father was my best friend. I understand. Do you have any suspicions about his death? You mean... who killed him, right? No doubt one of his competitors. Mikhail was an honest man. Do you know how much he did for the wine industry in our region? All the native grape varieties. He reintroduced them. Everything he produced here is genuine, which means no powder-based wine. That's why they hated him. They hated his guts. I can tell you a lot of stories about it. Aren't you scared? I'm not easily scared. We dealt with gangsters back in the 90s, and we faced them head on. I've always had Mikhail's back, no matter the obstacles. <clears throat> yes, Colonel, what do you need? You mean right now? Understood. I'm sorry, but could we resume this conversation some other day? Sure. I'll get going. What sort of suicide is that, Colonel? All the facts say otherwise. I just got back from Pogodin's winery. I talked to his best friend. He manages the factory and said Pogodin ruffled some feathers. I'm telling you, Pogodin had enemies. <clears throat> Am I your superior or what? I already said it was suicide, so don't you dare question my integrity! Are you disobeying your superior's orders? Did it even cross your mind that maybe we found evidence you're not aware of? And what would that be? Show it to me, then! I'm investigating this case, and they still haven't given me the autopsy results. And they'll never do! You better listen carefully and get it through your head. It was suicide, that's it! You've already proven yourself to be the best detective in our precinct. What else do you want? Huh? The whole truth. The whole truth? What a fool. Honey? Yes, Janya? I know maybe now is not the right time. But I wanted to give you... Some good news to cheer you up. Our Paris trip is not cancelled. Darling, I made the impossible possible. I convinced my parents to postpone the... Celebration of their wedding anniversary for one more week. Why are you so quiet? Now tell me I'm a sexy genius. Listen, tomorrow's my father's funeral. I can't talk right now. You have to understand that, Zhenya. When are you coming back, honey? Are you even coming back? I think it's too early to talk about that. Tell me that you still love me. Or is it too early to talk about that too? Why don't we change the subject, huh? What else do you want to talk about, huh? You know what? I'll call you later. Goodbye.
Here we go, like this. Cheers, my Hi friend. There, Bubble. Good evening. Like that. Dad, where have you been? It's two o'clock in the morning. You could have called that you're coming home late. Do you want to eat? No, thank you. I'm good. Sit with me for a while. Is Victor here already? He is. How is he? We haven't talked properly. He couldn't take it when I told him about his mother. I don't know. He seems like a total stranger. Yeah. I see he has become a total stranger. Excuse me, Ekaterina. I need to sleep already. You the should. funeral's tomorrow at 12. Are you coming? Of course, I'm coming. Good night, Dad. Good night to you, too. Who the hell are you? son so aggressive what's please, wrong with him me. ella calm down please he's not a thief he's not a burglar he's not going to hurt us who is that guy this is um who uh, uh, this is sergey my uh, friend calm down please hey little boy you threatened by me or what sergey, please don't mom i don't him. understand what is he doing here at this Victor. hour and how did he get into our house what do you want from us no, get your hands I'm, off me sergey. Ella, please get a hold over your little boy here. I have no interest in being part of your stupid family drama. Sergey, don't go. Sergey, don't go! Sergey. Who is he? Uh, what have you done, Victor? What is going on here? What do you mean, what have I done? Does this mean Pavel was right? Are you having an affair with that guy? Yes! I'm having an affair with Sergei. You were away for three years. Your father and I, we haven't lived together for a while now. He was too involved with his stupid business. We had a very complicated relationship. We could live under the same roof for months without talking to each other. I felt so unwanted. I haven't felt like a real woman in so many years. Sergei made me feel that. Mom, what are you saying? Son, I have lived most of my life here as a prisoner. I was your father's prisoner. That is not true. My father did nothing but love you. How could you do this to him? <clears throat> Don't you dare. Don't you dare judge me, Victor. Nobody. Nobody ever wanted to understand me. Why haven't you dressed up? Are you going to school or what? We're leaving in three minutes. Dad, I have a sore throat. 
can you tell my school I'm not going today? Who do you think you're kidding, young lady? Even if your mom is not here, it doesn't mean you can fool me. Dad, come on. We have a monthly test today, and I'm not ready to take it because I didn't study. And now that I told you the truth, can you let me stay at home today? Only if it's the last time you'll do okay. this. Okay. okay, you just stay home and do your chores. Mm -hmm. I'll check it later when I get home. Thank you so much, Daddy! <laughs> Go inside now and do the chores. Yeah. Don't be shy to ask. We can help you with anything. Thank you so much. Uh, thank you so much for coming. You can come over here and explore the exhibits on your own. Thank you very much. Come again. Have a nice day. Hey, girls, I really have to go to Pagodin's funeral now. Could you take the next tour, please? No problem. Yeah, sure. Go ahead. But as far as I'm concerned, all those horrific rituals are not for a lady's eyes and ears. Lilia, why would you say that? Ekaterina, go now. I'll cover for you. Thank you so much. Not again! This is the third basket already! Good afternoon! Uh, Flowers for Miss Ekaterina Ivanov. Please sign here. I'm wondering, um, who might be sending these lovely flowers to her? I have no idea. My job is just to deliver. I don't know where it came from or who sent the flowers. Mm -hmm. Thank you. Uh, you're welcome. Well, I don't know, girls. You can keep these for yourselves. I'll take them. I love flowers, especially pretty and expensive ones. You better leave now. Maybe you'll meet Pagodin's son over there. Oh, I remember Victor. He flirted with so many girls and then forgot all about them once he went to Moscow. What a playboy he was. Lilia, don't be so harsh. I'm just stating a fact, you know. All right then. Thank you. I'll be on my way. <laughs> mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. Hello there. My name is Yuri Litvinov, and I'm investigating Mikhail Pogodin's murder. Hmm. You meant Mikhail Pogodin's suicide. I meant exactly what I said. I don't believe he killed himself. Well, your superiors seem to think so. I have my own opinion on this case. That's weird. But go ahead, I'm listening. Continue. I'll cut straight to the chase. Mm -hmm. Are you in an intimate relationship with Ella Pogodin? The wife of the deceased. <laughs> what nonsense is that? She's old enough to be my mother. That's a gentlemanly thing to say about a woman. All right. How are you related then? You're often seen in her company. You're a frequent mm -hmm. visitor at her house. Or are you going to deny that too? No. Let's just say that we're close friends. So close that you chose not to attend Mikhail Pogodin's funeral today? Listen, I don't like all that funeral stuff. I'd much prefer to remember them how they were in life. Could you tell me where you were on the day of the murder? You ask too many questions, Mr. Litvinov. I have an alibi, so do you want me to walk you through the details? Of course I do. All right. On the day of Mikhail Pogodin's suicide, I was on a business trip at the capital. I have hotel receipts and other papers to support that. Ultimately, some very important people can confirm I was there because they were there with me. You want their names? Do you want to know... The names of the officials who can confirm my whereabouts on the day of Pogodin's suicide? Why so quiet? I've got a pretty good guess who those people are. Well, you're a smart guy. You don't need to be spoon-fed. I appreciate it. Where have you been?
people came to say goodbye to your father. They were saying nice things about your father, and you left all of a sudden. How indecent. I'm indecent? Who are you to talk about decency? Is it decent to have a lover around the house when your husband's lying in a coffin? You better respect me. I don't, me. Mom. I don't respect you. You've been away for three years. When your father was in the hospital, you were taking your exams, and I didn't want to bother you. When he had to be spoon-fed, I took care of him, so don't scream at me as if I never did anything good to your beloved That's father. That's it, Mom. It's over. Your good deeds are in the past. You don't have to spoon-feed him anymore. And now you can live the life you want. It seems that's what you were looking for all along. Victor, you go back inside now. I'm not going back inside. I'm not going back to your house, Mom. I've had enough. I see now. I guess that's why you came back here. To break my heart and trample every single last piece of what? it. What? Of course not, Mom. What are you even saying? I simply wouldn't be able to do that, and you know why? Because there is another man in your heart. And there is almost no room for me. That's why I don't want to live in the same place as you anymore. I know you're an adult now. Do what you want. Of course you can abandon me. However, Victor, I cannot do the same to you. Mm -hmm. Because I love you. I'm still your mother. I will always be here to help you. I will always send you money for whatever you may oh, need. Oh, sure. Of course you will, because you are in the driver's seat now like what you've always wanted. By the way, I'm starting to put the pieces of this crazy puzzle together. And it seems clear to me what really happened here. My father was murdered in his own apartment. It's crazy, right? Who benefits now, Mom? Who else but you and your lover? Shut up. Uh-huh. Shut up! Nobody murdered your father! He... What? Your father took his own life. Unbelievable. That's what the police told me. In fact, that's what's going to come out in the what papers What are you soon. even saying? You know perfectly well that the papers around are easily bribed by the powerful, and the police are no saints either. It's all just a charade, Mom! My father would never take but his own life. But he already did! <sighs> Mrs. Pogodin, could I have a moment, please? Pavel, I would really appreciate it if you took Victor back inside the house to show respect. Now that you know everything, please don't be mad at me. Forgive me for storming off. Tell me, who is that Sergei? A self-centered fool. The bad news is that his uncle is Vice Mayor Ilya Agiv. That's why that piece of trash does whatever he wants. He knows he's covered and protected all around. However, his uncle has his own interests. And what are they? I'll tell you about it tomorrow. Your mother is right, though. We have to go back. Come on. Let's go. Come on. Four a.m. Listen, can you hear me well? Do I sound like I'm okay? Well, I'm not. That idiot Detective Yuri of yours is messing things up badly. How come I told you loud and clear it was suicide? You don't say how come they didn't find any suicide note. That's on you, mister. You have to figure it out. You're the clever one, aren't you? All right, enough chit-chat. I'll be at work soon. You better fix it now. If they look harder, they'll find it so easily. And for today's latest news. At noon today, a farewell ceremony was held at the funeral of businessman Mikhail Bogodin, a well-known winemaker and owner of a wine factory. The 56-year-old Bogodin took his own life in his apartment in the city. Hey, wait a minute. The sad news was brought to us by the City Department of Internal Affairs. The motive behind the suicide was a series of business failures and the lack of success in recovering from them over the years. It is expected that Pogodin's wine factory will be acquired by the Regional Vodka Consortium. And now for the weather.
affair has been going on for almost a year now. I don't know where they met or how they met in the first place, but she completely lost her mind. And what's worrisome is that Sergei's uncle Agiv has his own personal interest. He has always wanted to get a hold of your father's winery, but it won't happen. We worked hard to keep that winery running, even during hard times. But how could he steal it? Is it really that simple? Well, I wouldn't say that it really is that simple, however... Why does my mother keep saying it was a suicide? Because this is what they wanted the public to believe. No, Victor, your father couldn't have done it. Do you understand me? He was not that kind of man. We worked together for 20 years. Who is handling this case? Yuri Litvinov, Chief Inspector. He seems to be a good one. I have to see him, and the sooner the better, because I... I have to go to Paris with my fiancé. So you're leaving soon? With your fiancé? <laughs> Don't be ridiculous. We will, we most definitely will. We'll bring everything. Yes, and we'll make your favorite food. Yes, you don't have to worry, of course, I got it. <laughs> Colonel, listen. Uh, hold on a second. It goes without this saying. This is urgent, sir. <laughs> All right, I'll call you back. All right, then. Hey, how listen about making me, an appointment next time? Was it you who gave the media the information oh, about the supposed suicide? Yes, I did that. You may consider this case closed already. Here, the deceased left a suicide note. Really? Are you kidding me? No, are you kidding me? You burst into my office just like that without Colonel, proper I invitation. My was a while I don't ago. have time for your nonsense and paranoia. Get out of my office. All right, I will. Get the hell out right I'm now. Leaving. But if you think that I'm just going to drop this case, you are mistaken. <laughs> Hello. Yes. Where were we? Oh yeah, that one. It was a stupid officer. <laughs> right, at five o'clock, it's settled then. See you there. See you, yes. <laughs> yeah. All right. Hi there. Augustus. Honestly, I thought you weren't coming. I barely made it, but I wouldn't have missed it for you. Tell me, is it something serious? It is very serious. Do you want me to say it? Well, fine. I have to extract Pogodin's note from the precinct chief's office. But I gotta do it very carefully, so that nobody notices that I'm onto something. After that, I need to do a handwriting examination. And all that should be done very urgently. Listen, you're a genius, Mr. Augustus Conrad. Genius. Can you read people's minds? No. I just heard your argument earlier at the office with the colonel. Right. Here. This is it. This is it. How did you pull that off? I dropped by at Porivayev's office at the end of the day to sign some papers. And when I was young, I worked as assistant magician at a circus. <laughs> you are a very smart man, Augustus. He wants to hide that this is a murder from the public, you hear me? Mm -hmm. I also wanted to tell you what happened to me today. Let's hear it. Check it out, is the way clear? It's clear, let's get a move on. Let's do this. So do you think the incident was just an accident? Or was it planned all Here's along? Your coffee? Thank you very much. No, Yuri, it isn't. It was not an accident at all. Yuri, this is bad. So be careful. Move it.
Come on, move it. What's taking you so long? It's done. Let's go. Easy, easy, easy. Yuri, honestly, it's their very first warning. This is very serious. Just drop this case, huh? Let that winemaker rest in peace. Hmm? There was this one time when Pagodin helped me. Mm -hmm. He was a nice guy. I want to know what happened to him, no matter what the cost is. Yuri, listen. The postman always knocks twice. You get it? Always. Stop! Be quiet! I'm calling your daddy. Get on with it. No nonsense. If you don't listen to me, I promise I'm gonna make you suffer. Hello? Daddy! Daddy! Please save me! Daddy! Anna! Anna! What happened? We're paying you a visit. If you want you and your daughter to live, I think you know what you have to do. I'm coming right now, do you hear me? And I'm not coming alone. Hurry up before it's too late. Daddy, please save me! Anna, Anna, I'll save you, Anna! The postman knocked earlier than expected. Let's go, Yuri. Listen to me. Tomorrow you'll put this back where you took it from. Of course, let's go. Let's go. Just help me here. Help me here. Yes, yes, yes. Daddy, Daddy, they're going to kill me and you. Take it easy now. Augustus, get me her medicine. It's there in the cabinet. Uh, uh, and okay, some water. Okay. Easy, easy, easy. Relax, my darling. You are safe now. Please don't be scared anymore. Daddy is here now. You're safe now. No one is going to hurt you, my dear. Calm down. Easy, easy, easy. You're all right. They said You're all right. that they would I'm come here, here again it's to okay. kill us. Don't cry, please. No one is coming to hurt you anymore. No one. Do you hear me? Do you hear me? It's all going to be all right. Here, drink this. Drink it slowly, slowly. Easy, easy. Calm down Yuri, now. Can you come here? Please don't cry. You are safe now. Listen, Yuri. You have to drop this investigation. You hear me? Anyone in your shoes would do the same, understand? Protect your family. Do you want to know whether your father had enemies at the winery? 
He had some ill wishers, that's true. You see, Mikhail was quite a character. Such men are either loved or hated, no gray areas. Then again, he had always been a staunch advocate of iron discipline. He didn't fool around. Yes, I remember. He used to be harsh on me too. Some ancient tribe, I don't recall which one, sorry, history's not my forte, had an unbreakable rule. When they chose their leader, they counted how many enemies he had. If everyone loved him, he wasn't a strong character, not a leader. <laughs> there. You weren't often a visitor at the winery. Our competitors pressured us. Your father used to make wine following tradition. Strictly canon, no powder-based mixtures. We were never in a hurry to sell our product. We always gave our cognacs enough time to age properly. And we were the only ones who did this in the whole area. But anyway, I place my bet on that serpent that's nesting in your mother's lair. I really think we should dig in that direction. Yes? Don't you want to talk to me at all? No, it's not that. This is a bad time, Zhenya. Your fiancé? Yes. She's oblivious to everything. Don't be angry. So, you want to go to Paris with her? Well, there's Paris and... her father, who's an oligarch. Hmm. You don't say. No, Pavel, that's not why I'm doing it. <laughs> I wasn't thinking that. I know it's hard to be on your own in Moscow. You need a partner by your side. <sighs> well, yes, exactly. <laughs> then again, we've been together for a long time, and she wants to get married already. What about you? Well, yeah, sure, I wanted to. There's just too much going on right now. Uh, yeah. All right. Let's drink. To our beloved Mikhail, whose memory we cherish. Why do you seem so nervous? He's not coming. He said so himself. <laughs> I'm not nervous at all, but I think you are. You can't sleep. You're drowning in liters of champagne. You've raised him to be rude. What if your son comes at night and slits my throat? Does he know anything about the will? I guess not. He's frustrated with our relationship. <sighs> But he didn't ask anything about the will. Listen to me. He's not five years old. He knows very well that you're sleeping with me. And that's quite a disgusting thing for a son to find out. That his mother sleeps around. Will you shut up? <laughs> I hate it when you make such cynical jokes. Okay. I'm leaving then. <laughs> See ya. Sergei. Sergei, come on, wait. Please don't, you hear me? Would you like me to apologize? Please don't go, I'm begging you. Please don't go, you hear me? I'm scared, I'm begging you, please stay. You're scared? How come? Does Mikhail come to you in your dreams? Or does your conscience bother you? <laughs> How dare you, you're evil! After all we've done- I dare. I can do anything. I'm so tired of you. I'm tired of you mixing tranquilizers with alcohol. I can't even have a normal conversation. <laughs> So please, let's go inside. You promised to help me find that folder in his study. I really no, need it, you understand? I, can't. I won't go inside. Let's I don't go. want to. Do I as you're told, to. Ella. Just do what I ask of you. Come on, let's go. Don't the just sit was there. already in my name. He didn't lie to me. And? Yes, that's all I wanted you to know, and I also want you to answer me honestly. Excellent. Will you agree to marry me now? Please, let's go to the study. Sergei, Sergei, I'm begging you, please don't you dare leave me now. You see, I can't be anything else. I can only be your wife. I've Ella. never loved anyone like I love you. Please listen, listen to me. that's enough. Let's please go inside. I need those me. documents. Do you hear me or not? Sergei, you're going to marry me, right? 
You and I can just talk about this tomorrow. But now let's go to the house, and you'll give me the documents I please need. Please don't leave me alone. Please I don't leave Pagoda's me alone. I documents beg now. You. I'm begging you, please don't leave me. When I saw you for the first time, I realized that I would never. Come on, ever. I said, cut it out already! I hate all this drama with you. Isn't it obvious? I hate it. <laughs> Sergey! 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 <laughs> All right. I have to go. Ekaterina is waiting for me at home. She's stricter than the harshest wife. <laughs> do you remember my daughter? Of course I do, Pavel. Isn't she mad at me? Why should she be? You were just having some fun. You indulged a bit, and went your separate ways. But please, don't tell her at once that you're getting married. I won't. Where will you spend the night? I understand that you're not going home. At the hotel. But why? Don't you have any friends here? I don't really need any friends. I like dealing with my problems on my own. Hmm. You're so independent. <laughs> Pavel, I'll drop by the winery tomorrow, all right? Since Father's office is not sealed, I'd like to look at his computer, files. Of okay. course. Come over. No problem. All right. I have to go. I'll see you. Thank you. Take care. Have a nice night. Yeah. See you. Right. How much do I owe you? <laughs> Look up. And then you'll see. What do you mean? Don't you recognize me? Uh, wait, Oleg? Gusev? <laughs> yes, it's me. You wouldn't know me without the badge. Hey, of course I would. Oh, uh, come on, forget it. I only approached you because I heard about your father. We haven't seen each other for at least five years now. We may not meet for another 50. <laughs> Let's catch up. No, I don't chat with my clients. My father was murdered. Mikhail Pogodin? Yes. My parents died three years ago. The docks want to go? We used to go there when we were kids, remember? All right, let's go. Okay, let me change first. Do you still remember how you saved me from drowning when we were in fifth grade, huh? <laughs> no big deal. You couldn't swim, that's all. <laughs> Anyone would do the same. Well, after that incident, I joined a swimming class and became the top swimmer. Yes. And I got all those medals, remember? I do. And right after, you spat on me. What do you mean, spat? Hmm? Literally. I came to you and said, let's go open the season, Victor. And then you said, get away from me. <laughs> Come on, Oleg. Were those my exact words? Yes, they were. So I walked away. I have my pride. Listen, Oleg, you see, I just had so much going on back then. Plus, I was into chess, went to swimming class, and then took driving lessons. Ooh. I didn't mean it. Driving lessons? Back then, your dad had given you a car. So what? Nothing. You were born into a wealthy family, and I was a swamp ghoul. Why would you open the season with me? You're making that up. I never thought that way. You didn't. Someone else did. I remember how Pechonkin came up to you and said, Why are you friends with Oleg? And you started to hang out with him. That never happened. It did. I'm telling you, I couldn't have done that. Got it? Yeah, you could. Your words were piss off, loser. You know I would never say that. Stop it. But you did say it. Apologize now. I won't apologize for telling the truth. You were afraid to be different from the rest. I said shut up already. <laughs> it was silly of me to remember the old times. Fine, see you around. Oleg, hold on. We clearly got off on the wrong foot. We're not strangers to each other. We shared a collection of matchboxes in the third grade and burned them all together, remember? 
And in the fourth grade, we both had a crush on Yudmila Semyonova, and we decided to walk away so we don't fight over her. Remember that? I remember. I'm just in a really dark place right now, and I need some help. My dad was killed, and my mom, my mom has a lover. I have nowhere else to go. All right, stay at my place for a while. Come on, let's go, let's go, let's go. We're here. Come on in. You see? I still live at the old place. I see you're still dreaming about the sea. The sailor shirt. Of course, I've wanted to be a sailor all my life. Why aren't you at sea then? Well, uh, you see, there was this thing right there. After class, I enrolled at a nautical school. And then we started to go to sea, but I couldn't. I got seasick. So it's pretty tragic. A dream that never came true. I feel you, Oleg. It's okay. Take this blanket. Go inside. I'll finish some chores and camp outside. I like sleeping outdoors until it gets too cold. Hey, Oleg. I think I'd also like to spend the night here. I'm serious, okay? <laughs> All right. You can have the couch. I have a fold-up cot. Victor, you can stay here as long as you like. Thank the you. The is outside. You shower in the summer. Otherwise, you wash yourself in the tub. The tub is fine. No problem. Now you'll run to a hotel. Why would you think that? I'm not running. Your father liked visiting us. He respected my parents. All right, I'll get the fold-up cot. Help yourself. I'll be right back. <laughs> okay, come on! Gotcha! Huh? 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 <laughs> Look at this guy! Where'd it go? So silly. <laughs> Uncle Kyle got the moves! <laughs> All right, that's enough! <laughs> Bravo! Well, Mikhail, you're really something. Yeah, I served in the Navy, son. I had some real moves back then. Now it's different. They gave me three paid leaves. That's the kind of dad you have. And then I came back from the Navy, and Uncle Sergey and I started to get the factory going. And then, back in 1985, they ran it into the ground. Remember? The party had this policy. Mm. They put a partial ban on alcohol. Yes. And we saved the chief process engineer from yes, the news from Ivanov. hanging himself. Yeah. Oh, yes, he was a good man. Do you remember there was this reporter yes, who came yes. from Moscow? A sneaky little rascal who said, how did you refurbish the factory? I panicked when I heard that. Oh, my goodness, we are doomed. That was the first time I pulled the wool over anyone's eyes. I escorted her past the wine shop, remember? Straight to the line selling juices. She was happy, wrote an article saying that the factory team promoted an alcohol-free life. By shifting from wine to juice, we only survived thanks to her stupidity and lack of attention. <laughs> well, Mikhail, here's to you. Yes. Cheers. Hooray! Hold on a second. Just wait. It's you want to know time. something? <laughs> I want to offer a toast to our children. Fellas, live long lives, very long lives, and continue what we started. Something like that. To us. Make a Hooray! I will. <laughs> mm. Dad, please don't do this. Just hold on. Why shouldn't I do this? Dad, it's embarrassing. What's embarrassing? I was surprised myself. Dad, well, Mom would tell us that you always okay. embarrass us whenever we go out. You be a good boy, okay? I hope you're doing all in school too, my son. Study hard. Mom told you that? Mm -hmm. Well, if Mom said so, she must be right. You should play more music at home, right? Your mother is always right. Hey! 
Thanks a lot. I want a shot of something. Here you go. One minute. Here you go. Well, 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 that's not bad. Excuse me? What's with the long face? Listen, I don't need to hear your pickup lines, you got that? Another one. Can I have another shot? Here. Mom, why are you getting drunk? I'm not your mom. Shut up and get lost. Fine, then. I'll call you sister. Listen, boy, don't mess with me. I'm depressed, all right? Another one. Why? What happened to you? I was dumped. I did everything for him. Mm. I gave him everything. I loved him and he dumped me. Do you have any idea who I am? <sighs> now, do you know who I am? Do you know who my dad is? Forget it. I do. Come on, let's dance. Come on, come no, on. No, I don't want come to. Come on. I don't want to. Come on. <laughs> 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 Dad, why don't you come to bed? I will, Ekaterina. I'll head in soon. I just prepared some fresh soup for you. Do you want some? Actually, I grabbed a bite earlier with Victor Pogodin, but a bowl of homemade soup won't do me any harm, and a small one is all I need. Mm-hmm. Oh, Dad. Uh, please don't be angry. You see, I think I must have put a lot of salt. They say that means you're in love. Are you in love, huh? <laughs> <laughs> I wish I were. I was working on something and was preparing this report, and all of a sudden... It's a pity you haven't fallen in love. I'd like to have a few grandchildren. Your mother won't see any, but I could babysit them. Ekaterina, tell me. Did anything happen with Victor? Nothing, really. Just a summer fling. <laughs> it's nothing for you to worry about, mm -hmm. Dad. Oh, I see. And overall, how is it going with your love life, huh? You're now a, a grown woman, a real beauty. It's just strange. You spend your days reading books. You're too old-fashioned, Ekaterina. That's why no one is dating you. Dad, listen. My private life is private, so everyone should just stay out of it. And if you want to know, I get a basket of flowers every other day. No kidding. Who sends them? I don't know. I never ask. A courier brings them. I'm absolutely not interested. More so, I don't like roses. You know that. Come inside and eat. Who would be calling you? One second, darling. Mm. Hello, what do you want now? Sergey, darling, please don't hang up. I'm begging you. Listen, people are supposed to be sleeping now. You're interrupting my sleep, you know? Sergey, I thought it over. You know, when I finally <laughs> receive the inheritance, you and I will sell this house. We will sell that wine factory as well as the vineyards. Blah, There's blah, a blah. lot of money, Sergey, <laughs> quite a huge amount. <laughs> and the two of us could move to Italy and enjoy living our lives. You do want to go to Italy, don't you, Sergei? I know that you love mm -hmm. Italy. Mm -hmm. It's all so sunny there, practically the same as here. But the sun there is beautiful. Mm -hmm. And the people are mm -hmm. wonderful. Yes. Did you hear me? Sergei? Sergei, why aren't you saying anything? <laughs> Can you hear me, Sergei? Uh-huh. <laughs> you have someone there? 
Listen, take your sedative and go to bed. Don't bother me anymore. <laughs> you understand? Is there a woman there? <laughs> Why do I have a feeling you're not alone? That's enough. Good night, Ella. Sergey. <sighs> Pain in the ass. <laughs> Hey, get up! Why so early? Get your crap together and get out of here now. If you try anything funny, I'll call security. Ugh, why not call the police too? I don't want to listen nor look at you. Will you just hurry up? I will. If you're gentle with me. Was there something you didn't like? I didn't like everything. You, this town, and myself. I'm gonna fly to him now. <laughs> right this minute. Today. Who are you talking about? And where are you going? You have to sort out your life first, my dear. Longing to be with a man who doesn't care one bit about you? Well, that certainly is a womanly thing. Shut up, will you? Get out of here right now! You're not worth his little <sighs> finger, you know? If I ever see or hear from you again, I'll kill you, you hear me? Good luck! sure to get the shipment ready by today. Okay, I got it. Right here you'll see the wood we use to age our wine. Wow. I hope you're ready to master all the mysteries revolving around winemaking. When you were much younger, you absolutely hated this place. Pavel, could you show me my dad's office, please? Oh, all right. Let's go. That's your dad's correspondence with Vashurkin, the owner of the winery in the next uh, town. What's it all about? I think they're talking about the Three Queens. What's that supposed to mean? Read it yourself. It's all explained clearly there. Pavel, can I copy it to a flash drive real quick? Yes, of course. <sighs> okay. Here goes. Good afternoon, Pavel Ivanov. Good afternoon. Good afternoon. <sighs> Mr. Pavel, I don't get it. Why is there a stranger in the deceased's office? What stranger? This is Victor mm -hmm. Pogodin. Don't you remember him? Mm -hmm. <laughs> Young man, <laughs> will you please leave the room right now? The area's been sealed. Mm -hmm. Can I please talk to Detective Yuri Litvinov? <laughs> You see, Detective Litvinov submitted his letter of resignation today. 
He said he had some urgent health issues. Wait, what do you mean by he had some health issues? Did they just let him go that easily? Of course. Unemployment is raging in this city. There are three candidates ready to take his place. <laughs> hmm? All right, do you think you could give me his personal phone no, number then? No, but of course I cannot do that. I cannot go against police protocol. All right, then tell me who will be handling my father's case now. Nobody. The case is closed. What do you mean it's closed? What do I mean? It was ruled a suicide. Yeah? What? We found a suicide note from Mikhail Pogodin, which means it was a suicide. Move on and accept it, my boy. What nonsense is that? It can't be true, you hear me? Show me that note you mentioned. <laughs> huh? Come on, show me that suicide note. Victor, Victor. Why don't you lower your voice, young man? You can Victor, scream all you down. want in another office. Yes, yes. Let's go. All right, I'll go. Mm -hmm. All right. Mm -hmm. You have every right I'll to. I'll find Litvinov myself. Good luck. Let's check everything one more time. Okay. She the, keeps calling. You scare the hell out of me. She woke me up. Hmm. She wants to sell everything and go to Italy. With me, of course. I need this like I need a hole in the head. Listen, Uncle, I only did this out of respect because her families are close. But even if that's the case, that won't make me spend my entire life with her, much less in a foreign country. Look at you. We got ourselves a patriot. <laughs> Stop making fun of me. Stop it. She'll sell you everything. And I think she'll sell it real cheap because she knows nothing at all about real estate and manufacturing. And she loves me too much that it scares me. I think it'll be over in six months. Or how long does it take to claim the inheritance? There, the inheritance. What about the boy? Won't he mind losing his entire fortune? We need to find out what he's up to. I have enough on my plate, but I do know they had a falling out. He's not staying at home. I don't want to hear or know anything else about him. Oh, but you should. You'd better know his intentions, all his motives. I need a clear field of vision and not this prolonged partisan war, understand? So off you go now. Go and get me all the intel I need. He needs to be disarmed once and for all. Or better yet, just send him back to Moscow. He saw me at Ellis. So what? I think he may have found out about our relationship. You know, it's such a blow to a young man's pride. <laughs> if I learned that my mother was sleeping with a man only seven years older than I am, I don't know, it would put more distance between us at least. My goodness, you're such an idiot. How could you allow him to find out everything when you're just starting? Who, me? Well, but who else? She hmm? kept me on a short leash even on the day of Pogodin's funeral. And the town spreading rumors about our affair. I couldn't care less, but it must be tough on him. Well, people gossiping is a given. But the fact that he saw it with his very own eyes is something else, so here's the deal. Sergey, you have to be more careful. Don't come to me anymore. Yes, yes, no more dilly-dallying. Don't ask for anything until you know what Pogodin Jr. is up to and what to expect from him. Now go, go, go! Stop fooling around! Oh, go! My God. I'm so fed up with all this, Uncle. Listen. I'm in love. Good afternoon. Good afternoon. My goodness, what a beautiful basket. Is it for her again? Yes, this is for Miss Ekaterina. Please mm. accept and sign the form. Goodness. I guess your secret admirer must be quite a wealthy man. These roses are just exquisite. 
Uh, do you happen to know how much a bouquet like this costs? Don't ask, don't tell, and all will be well. I just need her signature oh. and I'll be out of here. What wonderful flowers. Thank you. <laughs> You're welcome. Aren't you just a little bit curious who your secret Casanova is? No. As usual, you can have them for yourself. Thank you so much. No One, problem. Two, three, four. Ah, they're for Grandma's anniversary. Mm hmm. You say you're in love, but you're incapable of true love. What? Yes, 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 yes. You know what, my dear nephew? Go be a force for good. Do something nice for your uncle. Go, go, don't make your uncle sad while I'm asking nicely. I feel sad despite knowing I love you. I know that the crows above you hmm. shall not spare your Oops. beauty and destroy... Are you reciting poetry? And not from a book, but by heart? How can that be when you can barely read? You're a bully, uncle. Hmm. For each exciting day, you carry me away. Yes, hello? Hi there. Do you care whether I'm cheating? Maybe I've got a man here in my home. No, Zhenya, all I care about right now is my father. Victor, please don't be an idiot. Do you think that I'll wait for you forever? Sorry, but I think your timing's wrong again, Zhenya. Try not to bother me anymore, all right? Victor, I'm going there to see you. I've decided already. Zhenya, your decision is not enough. Stop being capricious, okay? I've been indulging your every whim, but I won't do that anymore. Don't come here, especially since my mother won't see you. You're making up things about your mother. There's something that you're not telling me. How could he have forgotten everything we've been through when you've only been gone for a few days? Do you think I like having to explain all this to my parents? I also have my pride, you know. Zhenya, give me another week. I'll call you myself and tell you what to do. Victor, are you being honest with me? Victor! Here. Litvinov's phone number. Well, it doesn't look like he wanted an explanation that concerns his daughter. It seems to me that he was really scared. Well, I'm off to the winery. Some complications have okay, come up. Okay, thanks, Bye. Papa. Well, I did everything that had to be done. That is, with respect to you. So now we only have to deal with your son, Victor. I don't know where he is. After his father's funeral, he never showed up in this house. Perhaps he already left for Moscow. He has a girlfriend who is almost a fiancé. My son has a grudge against me for something. I don't know. My apologies, but that doesn't concern the matter at hand. In any case, I should have a meeting with him. Do you think I should notify him about my decision to sell all the properties? No, not in the least, no. However, you must officially claim the inheritance. Only in that case will you have the right to dispose of your properties at your sole discretion. The house is yours, Ella Pogodin. And your son will inherit the apartment where Mr. Pogodin was found when he died. And a modest amount of money for him. That's all. Uh, money? How much? Um, I can't disclose that information. And the company shares? No. The winery is yours. Ella Pogodin, you are the sole inheritor of that. That's right, you can't do this to us! We'll try to do everything in our power to maintain the smooth flow of our operation. The busy season has already started and we can't stop in the middle of harvesting grapes. Will the widow make us all beggars? 
It's Everybody death knows sentence. the story of the three queens. That's right. What about there us? There it huh? is. Our death sentence. Right. Ella will sell us to Vashurkin, lock, stock, and barrel. I'm sure of it. Hold on a sec. Come to your senses. How can they do Mikhail that? Mikhail Pogodin would go crazy if he could hear what you're saying. Will you pay us our wages? You're just wasting our time. What will happen now? <sighs> there will be no wages. I'm telling you, no, so nothing. What will to There's us nothing now? to look forward so to. What are you expecting? What are you going to do? It's time to, 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 to leave and move on, people. Somebody has to do something. Tell us where. Answer us! We must make a decision That's right, right now. Here. Exactly. We gotta do That's something. Right. Fresh flowers. Fresh flowers for you. Come get your fresh flowers here. Come Good on. afternoon. Good afternoon. Oh, look at all these fresh roses for a beautiful girl. No, thank you. The girl doesn't like roses. Oh, well, that's weird. Can I have these ones? One bunch of these? I'll take the whole lot. With great pleasure. Right. Hold on a second. Here you, uh, here you go, here you go. Uh-huh. Young man, wait a minute. Keep the you change. forgot your change. Here. Okay, thank you. Hi there. Hello. Uh, well, this is... <laughs> this is for you. <laughs> Thank you. That's if you... <laughs> remember me, of course. Of course I do. Yes, father said you haven't left town yet. You've changed. <laughs> You've grown up. Such an adult now. Oh, silly me. I'm sorry, my condolences. I'm really very sorry. Hey, listen. Why don't we take a walk? Uh, Hi there, you two. Hi there. Hi there. Hi there. Girls, I'll be right back. Maybe in half an hour, all right? Go, go, go. Go now. I see you like daisies instead of roses. I do, actually. Thank you. Let's go. Let's go. All right. <sighs> <laughs> I don't even know where to begin. You're so beautiful now, so grown up. Please don't. I don't like compliments. Just relax and pretend that nothing ever happened between us. And don't worry, I told my dad that we're just friends. After all, one night of intimacy doesn't mean anything. Hey, Katarina, why are you like this? I didn't palm the right simply because it's harder for men to do those things. And besides, I swore to myself that I'd forget this town forever. I didn't want it to be a part of my life again. But it is like ghosts from the past. By the way, I saw Oleg. Oleg mm. Gusev, remember? Yes. We studied together. I'm staying at his place. And my mom? Well, mom got over the ordeal real quick. Please don't, I know. And you, Katya? Did you ever think about me? Why do you want to know, Victor? The answer is completely... uninteresting. You'd be really bored. Katya, please forgive me. I'm sorry. Um... Father said that you had a fiancé. <sighs> well, that was pretty quick of him, really. And to be honest, I was too. I'm not sure, I just didn't want to talk about her, Katya. I wanted to talk about my father and say that I'll be staying here for now. Uh, what about your studies? Uh, what about your girlfriend? That's rubbish. They can wait. I decided that until I figure things out, I won't go anywhere. Nobody wants to investigate his death. They keep lying about it being a suicide. They refuse to show me his suicide note. The detective who was handling this case suddenly submits his resignation and disappears. Can you imagine? Something is off. They're all just lying about it, you know? I, however, want to get to the truth. Will you help me? Yes, of course. You know you can count on me, right? Thank you. Mm -hmm. 
residents of the town of Chernomor. To Italy. To our Italy. <laughs> Your dead husband had been producing an excellent product. Yes. Not now, please. It really doesn't matter now. All right, so let's discuss something relevant. Where's your son right now? <laughs> you can't help it. You always try to destroy my mood. Mm. Haven't you had enough of fighting? I don't want to fight with him. I want to make peace. Yes, we have nothing to fight about. Well, you know, if that happens, that will make me the happiest woman on Earth. If we find a common ground and all become good friends. <laughs> He's your son, after all. We need to bring him back home. <laughs> you're so very thoughtful. Really? Yes, you're so sensitive. Really? You're so caring and so understanding. Here. Thanks, Katya. You're welcome. I was in such a hurry, I didn't bring anything. Oh? That's perfect. That'll do for now. Then we'll see. Well, yeah. Were you going to buy a computer, then use it for a few days? Hey, Katarina, what do you mean a few days? A few days won't do the trick. If you want an investigation, it will take more than three days. More than a week. Yes, 100%. Oh, yes. Oh, the Three Queens. Sounds like a mystery. What mystery? My dad told me it was a grape variety that was destroyed, and that your dad must have revived it. How did he do it? We'll find out soon. All right, do your research, and I'll cook some potatoes while you work. Mm-hmm. Oh, like, do you have potatoes? Ekaterina, hey, there must be some in the cellar. And oil? Check around the house. I don't know. I'm bad with that kind of kitchen stuff. I can see that. Open this You're one. You're quite hopeless. Right. It says something about Vashurkin. I remember. Pavel spoke about him. He's a wine factory owner from the next town. Vashurkin asks for the address of an old man. Gotcha. Read this. Vashurkin is threatening my dad. Mm -hmm. Dad says he's fairly certain that soon the new wine will be on the tables of around half of the town. I can't figure it out. Please take a look at this bracelet as well. Mm-hmm. Mm. Excellent, excellent. What a marvelous cut, huh? I haven't seen this in a while. And how much will this cost? I'll write it down. Here's a reasonable amount for you. Please check if this is satisfactory, Mrs. Pagodin, bearing in mind that you'll soon buy this piece back. That's unlikely. I need that money right now. Forgive me, Mrs. Pagodin, but this is a small town, and everyone knows that you're not exactly <laughs> poor. You're outrageously tactless. Listen, I really need quite a lot of money, and I'm still waiting for my inheritance. You've got a figure you're going to give me for it? Yes. Yes, yes. I'll write it down. So what, darling? Here you are. You are you done? Mm -hmm. Mm hmm Yes. Hello. One, two, three, <clears throat> Here it is. Please count the money before you leave. No need. What nonsense. I've known you for so long. Darling, why not? Why don't you want to count it? <laughs> Would you like some coffee, Mrs. Pagodin? No, thank you. You know I've trained myself not to drink coffee during the day. Only one cup in the morning. No, that's right. Years go by and we're not getting younger. Mm. Thanks, old man. Everything's good, like a bank. 
All quality and no fraud. That's my man. <laughs> it's a pity. It's a pity, Mrs. Pagodin. Those are some exquisite diamonds. You would look absolutely stunning when you wear them. No need to tease me. I already have too many regrets. Have a nice day. You too. Have a nice day. Be careful. Ella, dear, you can't be so impractical. How can you fail to count the money? Mm -mm. Mm. All done. Here, I fried some potatoes with onions. No way. There. If we had mushrooms, it would be tastier. Listen, Ekaterina. Is Vashur gonna jerk? He's not from around here, and he's not a wine connoisseur. He's quick with... making money out of nothing. Mikhail Pagodin never really liked him. You know your father had no gray areas. It was either black or white, love or hate. With Vashurkin, they got off on the wrong foot from the get-go. Thank you. Come on. Could Vashurkin have done it? It seems Pagodin and his factory were a thorn in Vashurkin's side. Victor just read the emails and there were direct threats in there. Why would the police overlook it? Because they're saying that they found a suicide note allegedly written by my father. Although I'm certain that it's fake. I know a girl named Maria. She also works at the museum. Her father is an expert. Do you remember Augustus? He's that funny, ridiculous man. Let's ask him. Mm -hmm. He'll check if it's fake or not. That'd I work. also have an idea. What's that? The season will soon be over. And our cafe will be closing down. I could take a part-time job with Vashurkin as a laborer or something. Are you out of your mind? Why not? It's a two-hour commute. So what? Can you just pack and go? Well, yeah. To find the truth, I can go the distance. Are you serious? Sure. Well, thanks for that. Forget about thanks it, a lot. man. <laughs> You're out of touch in Moscow. Just thank a friend for helping you out. <laughs> These are tasty potatoes. <laughs> yes, they are. As you can see, I make the best fried potatoes in the whole town. Can your girlfriend make fried potatoes, Victor? No, she doesn't have that skill set. What a sad girlfriend. I wouldn't call her that. She's fussy, but very stylish. When they say a girl is stylish, that's a nice way of saying she's ugly. <laughs> she looks pretty okay. Yeah. Anyway, enough about her. Mm. <laughs> so here's the thing. I'm not going to Paris, nor to Moscow. I'll stay here for as long as it takes. A week, two weeks, three weeks, a month. It doesn't matter. Uh, Maria was eager to help. She called her dad immediately and arranged for us to meet with him. Excellent. Where will he be waiting for us? Here, on the embankment. He's coming soon. <laughs> Listen, didn't I tell you that Augustus is the spitting image of Hans Andersen? He's really? as funny and witty as the writer. He divorced Maria's mother long ago and lives by himself. Uh, Maria visits him, cooks his meals for him. He can't survive on his own. But he's honest, though. He would never tell a lie. And I bet he has something to tell us if he agreed to meet with us at once. Anderson. Katya, you're such a smart girl. You must have read a lot. Mm-hmm. Why do you still work at the museum, huh? I study journalism in my spare time and enjoy being a tour guide. That's not interesting to you, though. I'm very interested, honestly. All right. We have a few minutes before our meeting. What would you like to talk about? Tell me about yourself. How has your life been all this time? No, that's not interesting. Why don't I tell you about Hans Christian Andersen? You're going to like it. All right. He was once traveling at night in a post coach along a road in Italy. And there he got to meet one of the most beautiful young girls of that time. Her name was... Elena Guccioli. Everybody thought that he was an ugly man. But then he was writing the most exquisite fairy tales. And she was just so charmed by them that she fell in love. And invited him to stay in her house in Verona. Did he go? He didn't. He backed out and ran away. Because he was afraid of being enslaved by her. Katya, what are you saying? I'm saying that Hans Christian was right. I've come to the same conclusion. It's important not to lose you or your freedom. Listen, are you still mad at me for that night? Katya. Mr. Augustus, over here!
Good afternoon. afternoon. Good afternoon. Hello there. Good afternoon. I have some information for you. Shall we? Let's of go. Of course. Listen up. As an expert, I can accurately conclude that Mikhail Pagodin's suicide note is a blatant counterfeit. So we need to find those who are responsible. I agree with you on this, young lady. Completely. But unfortunately, I didn't know your father when he was still alive. From what other people said, I realized that he was not a man bent on self-destruction. Of course he wasn't. He enjoyed his life and his business, and he loved my mom and me. Mm -hmm. You know, he used to call me every day while he was alive. Mm -hmm. Why didn't I notice there were no calls from him for three days straight? Don't beat yourself up, truly. Don't be sorry. Youth bears an absent-minded quality, but there's really nothing to it. Uh, I don't think it was suicide, and nor does Yuri Litvinov. That's why... Wait, do you know him? Yes. I really want to talk to him soon, but he wouldn't answer my calls. And I learned he resigned from the force. <sighs> All right, I'll set up a meeting with him for you. If you promise me that no one will ever know that it even happened. Yes, of course. Yes? You know, Yuri's selling his house and going to leave this place for good. Sorry, but I have to go now. I hope that I was of some help. Thank Best you so much. Take care. You both. Take care. Thanks Goodbye. a lot. Right. I'm going to. Uh, where to? I have to get back to work. Are you coming to Oleg's tonight? To fry potatoes? <laughs> Why does it always have to be potatoes? Just come by and hang out. I'll try to go. Oh, all right. See, See you. you. See you. Let me say that we have tons of work to do this year. The crop yield was great. We're the only ones doing this here. Pagodin Center Prize is closing down soon. What's the reason? Because they lost their director. He was the big boss. Ah, and without a shepherd, the flock is just a flock. They'll go bankrupt. Mark my words, it'll happen. What's your name again? Oleg Gusev. Look here, Oleg Gusev. I can't figure out why you want to work with us. It's such a long way from home. Well, you said it yourself. Pagodin's enterprise will go bankrupt. I want a job with career prospects, and I love winemaking. You like the winemaking industry? <laughs> Not in that sense. I mean, I'd like to have a drink or two. Like that. 
Oh, don't worry, I was kidding. You put it quite nicely. Let's go. We'll go to the tasting room first. Good afternoon, Victor. Are you following me or something? No, I happen to be driving by. Listen, I'm not trying to be your enemy here. Or even your friend. But beware, you have a mother and she's still suffering. You attacked me with clenched fists, but I don't hate you. Listen well. My relationship with my mom is none of your business. <laughs> you're a nobody and you have no right to talk to me about these matters, so go away. Why, you're gonna fight me again? Leave now! Don't touch me. Your mother's upset. She's inconsolable. She could hardly survive your father's suicide, but and now- But he didn't commit suicide! I will get to the bottom of this, and you tell her I said that. Uh-huh. Tell her I'm not coming home. You better pray that I don't see you again. <laughs> Idiot. Very soon I will get you. So this place is our winery tasting hall. Well, come and give it a taste. <laughs> there. You drank that very fast. And you said you were a light drinker. Don't think I'm an alcoholic. I had quite a long trip. I got thirsty. Please. Did you even smell the aroma? Savor the bouquet? Or relish the aftertaste? The aftertaste? Yes. Uh, it's there. That's better. This right here is our newest wine. Ah. Uh. We made it even before Pogodin. It'll reach retail stores sooner, too. What's your wine called? Our new wine is called the Three Queens. I'll strangle him myself. I'll have him go through the seven calm circles down. of hell. Calm down, calm down. We're not alone. Just relax. Don't be so jumpy, okay? <sighs> I'll help you destroy this family once and for all. What made you so determined? None of your business, so don't ask. <laughs> Consider this as me paying off my debts to you. I want you to remember that in this case, you need to be cool. Don't be like that. Mm. Follow him, watch him at all times. Do you promise? Yes, I promise, Uncle. Cheers. For now, don't touch me. I really can't stand you. Just stop with all your reasons. Uh, I cannot live like this anymore. You promised me. Don't you remember at all? We'll go to Moscow. That's what you said. Ella, my dear, please forgive me. This year we have a great grape, grape yield. yield. I have a lot to do at the factory. Do you hear what you're saying? What grape yield? I, I can't don't do be this upset. anymore. Look, I promise to you next don't time. Don't make promises. <sighs> oh, 
And why do you look so scared right now, Victor, huh? Dad, did Mommy hurt you? She didn't. Let me tell you something about your mom. She can't hurt anyone. You know how good and amazing she is. Don't you forget that. Dad, are you afraid of her or something? <laughs> Very much. But seriously now, at my job, I command a squadron, and at home, I'm a mere soldier. But how can that be? That's how it is. Listen, son, promise me this. Whatever happens to me, you will never leave your mom alone in a rough spot. Yes? Yes. You're her defender. Yeah. I promise, Come on, Dad. let's play. Whoa, now. Huh. Come on. You catch. Whoa. Huh. Whoa. Go. Oh, huh. that's it. Strike. <laughs> let's go. <laughs> that was fun, Dad. Victor! Ooh. I'm so exhausted. Two hours over the hills. Go eat something. I boiled some sausages. What sausage? From the fridge? Uh-huh. What's up? I hope that you didn't eat it. I didn't. What's wrong? <laughs> it's four years old. Even a dog wouldn't eat that. Wait, seriously? <laughs> Oh, I'm sorry. <laughs> it's all right. It's nothing. Hey, listen. They already made three queens. They're already bottling it, printing labels. How could this happen? Your father should have been making it. I don't know why Katya hasn't come yet. She would have explained it. She understands these things. <sighs> hey, Victor? Hmm? You two... did... You have a past? It's a long story. Actually, it's not long, but I'm ashamed to tell it. We studied in the same school. And? After prom, we both went for a walk. We were down by the riverside together until dawn. And? And I had the impression that she was... Well, the one for me. She wasn't like any other. And? And what? Stop with the ands. We were not very sensible at 17. We were in such a hurry to do what adults do. You're right there. At 18, I brought a wife home. And then we just broke up. In my case, it was even worse. She confessed that she loved me back then. She fancied me for a long time, and I just... To make the long story short, we spent the night. And in the morning, I left for Moscow to enroll. At first, I felt ashamed, but as time went by, I forgot. Did she forget? I don't know. <sighs> so that's it. All right. If we have no food, I'll just sleep. When you are asleep, you aren't hungry. <laughs> Good night. Wait, what about Bashurkin? I haven't reached him yet. Victor, we'll figure it out. Don't worry. Yeah. My bet we will. Thank you. Thank you. Here, ma'am. How come you aren't eating? No appetite? Yeah, you can put it that way. Why? What happened? Hmm? Well, I've noticed I've been... In a bad mood recently. What's the matter? I have this feeling that everyone in this town is looking at me unkindly. Suspiciously, even. <laughs> Ella, why did you have to spill the beans about the two of us? You know, I feel as if everyone is judging me, but why, when I did nothing wrong? <sighs> Wait, what do you mean, spill the beans? I believe it was you who insisted that when we go out, we should always be together. Am I wrong? Mikhail was furious, and you thought that was so funny. Yes, I thought that. The truth is I've always loved you, and that's why I thought it was funny. I simply wanted to get some proof that you love me too. Do you understand now? Sergei, you have no clue how I value what you said. Those were the first magical words I've heard this whole month. Come on now. No need to thank me for feeling this way. <laughs> Let's have a drink. Sarke, I wanted this to be a surprise, but... Tell me. I can't help it. Mm, your birthday's coming up, am I right? That's right. Yes? Well, 
I wanted to give you a car. Mm, you know, the one that you wanted. Hmm? Ella, dear, honestly, I can't accept such expensive gifts from Sergei. you. Sergei. No, but this Listen goes against my principles. Sergei, I can't on. accept it. May I remind you that I'm a very rich woman now? <laughs> Ever since Mikhail left me everything, I can buy what I want, and not to mention... I'm a free woman. Ella, the money for the car... Can you just give it to me in cash? What? You might have guessed that it wasn't suicide. I never got to see the forensics report, but I saw the wound on his head. It's unlikely that he hit himself that hard. So he was bleeding out and losing consciousness, but why didn't he call for help? Maybe someone was there. That's possible. If that was the case, how did that person just vanish without leaving any trace of his presence? Sadly, I didn't get to find answers to those questions, but yes, he wasn't alone. But that's hard to verify. We need to look for proof, but the apartment is sealed off. It's not easy to get in. I'm afraid I'm no good to you there. You have to do it on your own. Find out what you can about his life, and you'll have a chance to unearth the truth. Tell me, why did you drop the investigation? Why did you just resign? You have to understand this. I have a kid. Just one daughter. We tried to conceive for ten years. I... I can't risk my only child. I simply cannot do that. Wait, listen, listen, it's not for me. I need you to be more specific. It's for Victor, for your son. What? Your husband gave you everything. The will was read to Victor, and Victor knows everything was left to you. Of course he's offended. Your son is an ambitious young man. He has to learn how to live. Learn how to build his own life. And he will think poorly of you as a mother if you fail to take care of him. If you think that I've forgotten my son, then you are clearly mistaken because I... No, no, no. I don't think that, Ella. No. Look, don't worry because he must be with his fiance in Moscow. He must have left. No, Ella, he hasn't left. I just saw him. And he looked quite upset. And I'm scared that I... You see, your son is not going anywhere because that will was the last straw. I can read that young man like an open book. I don't want any cars. I only want you and him to make peace and get along well. And I really think that we only need to give him money. Believe me when I say that. I don't want you to feel remorse in there, deep in your heart. That's the kind of person I am, you must understand. Sergei, thank you so much. Sergei, you just showed me you're a truly wonderful person. Thanks. So let's give him a certain amount of money and ask him to go to Moscow. Yes. It'll be better for all of us. Because, mm -hmm. well, we will just keep on hurting him. He'll keep on comparing me to his father and I'll never be a part of his life like how his father was. We shouldn't... Cultivate hatred in this very young and innocent heart. Yes. So we really have to think of a way to convince him to leave this town. I know. You'll think of something, but let's do it delicately at the soonest possible time. Yes. You're so warm-hearted. Sophisticated. You're simply <sighs> wonderful. Sergei, you're right. I agree that we should give him all the money. Yes. Yes, you're yes. right. He's my son. He deserves to have it all. Sergei. Of course. Of course he does. You are a marvelous mother. Sergei, my love. I can't bear the sight of this place. I get it. Although, this is where you lived before you went to Moscow. All right, Oleg, cut the crap. The problem is not that I've changed, it's because of my dad. That's it. Anything about Bashurkin? Nothing, as of now. But I saw the man. You know, he's a short man. Swears like a sailor too, but he doesn't seem dangerous. I don't think he's bad. Really? Are you a psychologist now? Why a psychologist? You better say I did well. I gained the trust of the folks there in a couple of days. You know how? Remember? I used to do card tricks when we were at school. Yeah, why do you ask now? <laughs> well, they get bored at lunchtime. I entertain and amuse them. They give me intel for that. <laughs> you don't say. That's true. Let me tell you, they know about Pagodin's murder. Uh-huh. But no one thinks that Vashurkin did it. He has an unremarkable personality. Guys like him are the type who squeal and run away. They don't have the guts to, to kill. 
he is protected by some big shots. <sighs> Folks are saying Pagodin cut an impressive figure. He built his own house, brought the factory back to life, and that the Shurkins like their manager. I just don't know who his boss is yet. I see. Well, we must find a way into the apartment where the murder happened. My father bought it for me, but no one lived there, and later on he just moved in, so we should look for clues in there. But the problem is that it's sealed off and that no one is going to let us in, so that's that. Wait, what floor is it? What? What floor is it? Hello there. Yes, what do you want? Um, I just came to see you. I realize you didn't like roses. Perhaps there's another way that I can earn your goodwill? I don't know you. How do you not remember? A few months ago, the two of us already met at a special event here. The Town Day. You were reciting your poems that day. And I remember the lines. I remember the web of fingers as well as the boredom of many-eyed houses getting ready to sleep. That is your poem, correct? Yes, I wrote that poem. It's impressive. I don't like flattery. Are you done? I speak the truth. I remember those lines. I remembered you. You have wonderful eyes. And you smell of... of fresh apples. <laughs> Very ripe ones. Just like now. Step back or I promise I'll scream. I remember you. You are the lover of Ella Pagodin, am I correct? That is absolute nonsense. She means nothing to me. All of that is just gossip. I've loved you for months now. You are in my dreams. You know, I often see you around town, always with someone, and it always makes me upset that it's not me. Listen, do you want me to give you some money so you can publish your own anthology of poems? No, I do not. And why not? Because I don't want to take anything from you, and I'm used to achieving my goals all on my own. An unusual way of thinking for a woman. So unusual indeed. <laughs> Are you an Amazon? I am what I am. You better not come here anymore. You're just wasting your time. Wow, you're such a proud girl. Let me say I can be very useful to you. I'm no Victor Pogodin who's here now, but might be gone tomorrow. You should leave right now. I don't want to see you. And I don't want to talk to you anymore. <sighs> all right, all right, I'll go now. Just think about it. I can be very useful to you. Please think about it. Don't miss out on this chance. There it is. That's the place. Wow, man. The ceiling is pretty high. I didn't expect mm -hmm. that. If we enter through the window, the neighbors will see. Is that your balcony right there? Mm-hmm. Mm, let's enter through the roof. I have a friend who rock climbs. He won't go, but he has equipment. Then who's going to go? Isn't it obvious? Us. Us? Listen, Oleg. I can't do that. I'm... I'm afraid of heights. <laughs> I'm scared too. Oh, and to make it worse, we'll do it at night. Scary? I was super scared. I kind of liked it. Maybe I'll take up mountain climbing. Whoa. There, there. There, 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 there. Is it working? No, so far it's not okay. working. Let me try it. Hold on a second. Uh, Step aside. Let a professional do it. I have experience. Did you forget? We had to steal a great book. Who did you end up sending? Yes, me. Mom, I did the job. Talking. Open it. <laughs> Wait. What grade was that? Fifth? It was sixth grade. Nah, it was fifth. Oh, like it was sixth. Stop arguing. Just open it. <gasps> hey, 
Hey, you guys, stop! Good evening, gentlemen. What's with the scared faces, huh? Come on, go over to the balcony. Come on, hop on over or I'm calling the police. Hurry, don't just stand there! Come on, come on, get over here! All right, get in there. Come on, come on, move it! Mountain climbers, my ass. Those cops came to the winery today. They seized 50 bottles of premium wine. I wanted to put my dogs on them, but they said, Do you know who ordered this? It's a give! I had no choice. They treat us like we are some kind of doormats. If Mikhail was still here, they wouldn't boss us around like that. He would have thrown them out in no time at all. I can't do that. That's right, I can't. Dad, calm down. I'm so upset. I am disheartened. Now I'm all fierce talking about it, but with them, I was just standing there. I don't have it in me. I can't be commanding. I don't have the confidence. Dad, come on, stop it. <sighs> All right, first off, I'm Alec. We're... Victor and Oleg. Victor Oleg? Uh-huh. All right, second off, what were you doing on that balcony, huh? Uh, it's just, um, I actually left my key, didn't uh -huh. I? <laughs> All right, listen up. You thought that you could fool me. There was a felony that was committed in this complex. They whacked a guy next door. Although I wasn't here when it happened. I just came back to do repairs at this place. But the neighbors told me everything in very great detail. You know the guy who was killed next door? He was my... He was what? He was my father. No way. The thing is that the police don't want to investigate his murder. So I decided to do it myself. Mm-hmm. Uh-huh. That is a pickle. So, one last thing. I think that we need a drink. Got anything? Mm, no. You have nothing? Uh, I can get some. Hey, hey, hey. Come back. Sit down first. Are you stupid or something, my friend? The door's over there. Oh, right. <laughs> hey! Just remember. I actually don't have any money for the booze. Those rich Moscow kids for whom I'm doing the repairs, they haven't paid me. That's a big problem. <laughs> uh, don't worry, sir. I'll buy it. You're serious? Well, what a real gentleman you are. Way to go. So where were we? You can tell me what you're planning now. Come on, come on. I'm not the patient type. Thank you for the tea, my dear. You're welcome. I'm looking at you. You're so diligent, so beautiful. So when will you get married already? Dad, who would want to marry me with this temper of mine? Yes, you're right about that. How sad. I would like to have grandchildren. They would be running around the place now, giggling. Dad, live a long life. You do that, and you will see them. Well, yeah. <laughs> right. We never thought that Mikhail would leave us so early. Dad, could you tell me about the secret of the Three Queens? Why are you asking? The boys were asking. You know that Victor's like my son. But I want you to be extremely careful. See, I don't know if it's about the inheritance, but he decided to stay in this town for a reason. He wants to know what happened. Get to the bottom of it. Yes, he told me. It's great, I must say. Quite brave. But it is dangerous. <sighs> Welcome back. That's my boy. What's heck? This is for you, this is for you, and this is for me. Hey, 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 pour me some more. Oh. Oh, that'll do it. Drink up. Mm -hmm. Bottoms up. Whew. So, mm -hmm. what are your thoughts on the drinks bouquet, the aftertaste? 
Alec, I'm, I'm sorry, but I'm not drinking. Why is that? Well, I still have to climb over the balcony. Oh, I got it. And me? Me too, right? Don't worry. Hey, fellas. No, that my balcony right there is yours as well. <laughs> oh, thank you. And there's one more thing. I can also check in with the neighbors, you know, see what's going on. Only quietly, so as not to alert the cops. And you can give me a bottle just like this one. Do we have a deal? <laughs> Do you agree? Yes. <laughs> Although I hope that you don't think I'm some sort of a lowlife. Uh -huh. I have a wife. Her name is Liuba. Liuba. And children. Uh, they're in Siberia now. Uh, as soon as I make some dough here, then I'll start sending it to them. Maybe you need some money? I have some. Hey, 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 stop. First off, I don't take money just like that. And another thing. One second. Whoop. What is that? A flashlight. <laughs> don't you know? You shouldn't turn on all the lights in that flat. What if somebody sees you there? Uh, Use your brain. <laughs> you're, you're right. You're cover. So smart. Uh, Thanks a lot. Uh-huh. Dad. You can cry if you want. I won't look. Come on, we need to look around very quickly. Victor, I found something. Hey, fellas! You need to go right now! I see a cop in the courtyard! Hurry up! All right, let's go. Take this. Come on, move it. Oleg, come on! Guess what? I just learned something from my dad. This kind of grape was almost destroyed in 1985 when they're fighting alcoholism. It was before we were even born. It wasn't looking very good back then. But that variety survived. And it was Mr. Mikhail who found it in the mountains being grown. It was an old man who had his own vineyards, but they weren't big. He decided to bring back the three queens. Vashurkin's people got wind of it and stole the trade name. But in essence, their wine is just a fake, another powder-based bootleg. So that's a story I got. What about you? We're trying to learn who is pulling Vashurkin's strings. Yes. Also, we examined the apartment where the murder had taken place. Oh. Well, from the roof down to the balcony. That's the only way to do it. Huh. He used to be scared of heights back when we were studying, remember? Well, he is still afraid of them. <laughs> <laughs> Although he overcame his fear, hey, I'm so hey, proud of Oleg. you. <laughs> Oleg, that's enough. I'm proud of myself, too. <laughs> Tell me, was it all worth it? Was it now? We didn't have a lot of time, because someone spooked us, but it was clear someone had been in the apartment. Mm -hmm. Police took a lot of things, but... Here. What is this? You mean, whose is it? Listen, if you want to know whether my mother uses this color, no, she does not. Nor does she use this brand. For her, it is, pardon me, too cheap. Let me have a look. Right. Later, I'll try to learn something from it, like the lady's personality. All right. All right, it's the weekend. You should go to the mountains and see the old man. Oh, right now? Yes. Why not? Yes, let's mm -hmm. go right now. Come on, let's All go. Right. We're going. Uh-huh. <laughs> hey, let's use a bike. <laughs> right, time to figure this out. Oleg, did you choose this route on purpose? It's a shortcut so we could make it back home by evening. 
Don't you want to be back home by evening? <sighs> to see Ekaterina? Yes, I do. You know, I feel... Hold on. <sighs> I feel so good whenever she's around. <coughs> don't tell me you're tired. Don't you ever swim in Moscow? I don't even have time to go to the gym there, let alone the pool. Ah, uh, I see. You and Zhenya must be partying all night. And sometimes, then you sleep until midday? Sometimes. Oh, no. I spend at least two hours a day in traffic. Two hours a day? Let me think. Two hours times 365 divided by 24, that means you... you spend... 30 days. The 30 days you were just stuck in your car! Pogodin, you should just walk! In Moscow, that's not a cool thing. <laughs> What's cool anyway? I mean, look at your dad. He wore the same suit every day. No, you were wrong. He had one more. For weekends. I don't know. I remember only one. The suit was old-fashioned, but he had our respect. All right, let's go. <sighs> My love, you forgot to take your pills again. Uh. As usual. We agree that you drink this. I know. <sighs> That's my girl. Um, <clears throat> I have a question. Tell me, have you found a buyer for the winery? Sergei, not yet. I don't know anything about that stuff. And to be honest, I only went to the winery once. I remember that it was... filthy. I want to get rid of it very soon. Do you want me to help you sell the place faster? Do I? <laughs> no, I don't think so. Uh... We have to sell it soon, and who else can do it but you, my dear? <laughs> now I know what you will say to me next. That I'm so dependent... That I cannot do anything on Darling. my own. Noella. You truly are marvelous. Really? You just need a man to support you. Yes. I promise I'll find you a good buyer. You won't regret it. Thanks so much. But before that, we have to meet your son and give him the money, as we agreed. We're still doing that, correct? My son? My son doesn't want to see me. You know that, Sergei. Honestly, that son was never truly mine. Victor has always been his father's son. Dad, oh daddy, dad. Do you know how hurt and offended I was when he didn't share anything with me? He didn't like talking to me. I was very afraid that he would have the same traits as his father, that he'd be stubborn and rough like him. Is that why you sent him to Moscow? You wanted to alienate him from his father? Yes, that's right. Huh. It sounds silly, but my plan worked. <laughs> Against all odds, it actually worked. I mean, look at him. He's come back a completely different man. He's so refined and so sophisticated. And the best part was that he started to call his father less and less often. No, I mean, I believe he's cut from a different cloth. Maybe one day he'll understand what his mother had done for him. Of course. I know he will. Don't get stressed, you're a great mother. Mm. Sergey. You are great. You are the most amazing mother. <laughs> Cut it out. <laughs> okay. There, we finally made it. Whew, finally. Excuse me, anyone home? Hello? Hello. Hello to you both. We barely made it. We are looking for an old man who grows grapes here. That man died two months ago, and I really don't know anything about grapes. Why don't you know? You live here. I just don't. Easy as that. Look, there was this rare variety here called the Three Queens. We'd like to know more about it. Mm. Wait, maybe we could give you some money? Yes, here. Take this. 
Thank you, I will take it. It's just that my husband passed away and he left me with two kids. We're leaving soon. And I'm selling this land. I'm just signing all the papers. Now, if you'll excuse me. Well, thanks anyway. Yeah. You're most welcome. Listen, miss. Maybe we could walk around the vineyard? Is that okay? Oh, sure. It's all right. But just be careful. I hope you don't disturb anything in uh -huh. that place. Okay. Right. Thank you. Good day, miss. Have a nice day. Oh, my goodness. We walked so far. Indeed. Well, at least you can enjoy this view. Damned, a week has already passed? Oh, your fiancé? Hello, Zhenya? Victor! Listen here, I really can't postpone our trip to Paris any longer. Twenty people are waiting for us, this is totally unacceptable, understand? Zhenya, I understand, but my situation has changed. In what way? I decided to investigate my father's murder on my own, and this is more important to me than Paris. More important than Paris? So, that is more important than me? If you were a smart person, you'd understand me. No, I am dumb. I am a dense, dumb girl. I don't understand anything, and I don't want to. Listen here, I wasted several years of my life on you, therefore you absolutely must come with me. If necessary, my father will have private investigators for you and pay for them. Zhenya, I told you over and over again that I don't want to use your father's money. Also, I've made up my mind, so goodbye. <sighs> Sorry, I heard it all. She's very loud. Well, she's always that loud. I'm staying until I learn the truth, no matter what she says. Uh, listen to me. While I spruce myself up, I want you to do this. Get me an airplane ticket to Chernomorsk. No, early morning flights, you understand? Business class? Well, obviously. Wait right here. Yeah, the Three Queens mystery perished with the old man. Yeah. Someone's buying land with a rare grape variety. Who are they? We don't know who, but I can tell you the story of the lipstick. I found a very interesting psychology book. Here, it's called Eight Main Shapes of Lipstick. The lipstick's tip is at a sharp angle. This woman has vivid imagination. She's quiet and rather introverted. Uh, she's always there to listen to you. You can trust her with your secrets for she'll never betray you. Does it have her name in there? Of course not. <laughs> However, Mr. Mikhail must have had a female friend who visited him over at that place. I can add to the description that it's a woman of average income. Because the lipstick's pretty cheap. <laughs> Look at you, Sherlock Holmes. Maybe it was a colleague from work. But colleagues from work don't go to a bachelor's apartment for tea. Mm -hmm. Or she may be in love with him, wouldn't you agree? I think all this is a stretch. We need to check that place again. Alec will open the door easy peasy. Climbing to another balcony is not that hard. Are you sure that you can trust Alec? Well, he seems like he can be trusted. Well, I went and brought him some food today, and he seems grateful. All right, then. Hold on there. But what if the tip of the lipstick is sharpened like a pencil? Let me check on that. Here. Such women are very egotistic and very arrogant, and they do not care at all about the opinions of other people. <sighs> Exactly. <laughs> Is that your fiancé? Well, I'll go now. And Oleg, can you walk me home? Uh... Well, stay. I... I'll go. Wait! Wait, I'll go.
Hey, Katerina. You were so quiet during the whole walk. Can I ask you a question before I leave? What is it? You could say that it's a silly one. If it's a silly one, then only one. <laughs> Tell me, what shape is your lipstick's tip? My lipstick's liquid with a brush. If you'd notice, I rarely use it. But it can keep all my secrets. <laughs> Clever. <laughs> yes. We're here. Do you know what else I noticed? When it's the three of us. With Oleg, you talk a lot and clearly you are comfortable. But you seem scared. With me. Like Anderson was afraid of his Italian beauty. Why is that? Funny you should ask that. I just want to help you here. But I don't think I can ever allow you to be close to me like before. Look. Listen to me. We did silly things when we were young. It's just that I was a fool, and now... And now... Now everything is different. Don't you dare do that again. <laughs> Wait, look, go I... Go away! Please go now. Good evening, fair lady. <laughs> you remember me? What are you doing here? Are you following me? <laughs> Not at all. I only wanted to see you. <laughs> you did the right thing telling off a stalker. He's not worth it. It's not your concern. Oh, why isn't it? When you're fond of another person, and I happen to be quite fond of you, it's your business to monitor the people around them. I didn't give you the right to do that. You are nothing but a total stranger to me. As a matter of fact, I do have the right. I gave myself many rights and not for nothing. I really don't like it when people turn me down. <sighs> no, I don't. I don't wish to harm you in any way. I just want to take care of you, okay? I want you to bloom like a pretty flower. Truly, when I saw you for the very first time, I realized that you are the only girl that I really need. And I've seen many girls in my life. I'm not interested in the number of lovers you've had. I am never going to throw myself at I you. I know, I know, and that's exactly why I like you so much. You are the only one that I need in this life. And please, don't shoot me down just yet. Your dad will be out of a job because the factory will never survive this whole messy business. You'll see ownership's gonna change. Ah, and you at your museum, barely making a living, and that's why you look so drab. If you were with me, you could look like a queen and live luxuriously. But I don't want to be a queen if my king is going to be you. Now, hold on a moment. I'm not done yet. Hold have on a nice there. Night. Hold on. I said have a nice night. Come on, don't be so stupid, huh? Have a nice night. <laughs> Till next time. I know that the old man passed away a couple of months ago. His daughter wouldn't tell me anything. She's not from around here. Mikhail made some notes about that wine in his diary. He had diaries his whole life. On a laptop? Oh no, we the older generation prefer scribbling on paper. It's better that way. As to where he could have stored his diaries, I just know that it's not here. At his home? The thing is, in his final days, he didn't trust Ella. Um. There was a huge scene, and I happened to witness the two of them fighting. You're such a jealous man. You fended off everyone near me. Not to mention that you've kept me locked up in here my entire life. Tell me something. Are you so ashamed of showing me off in public? Why in the world are you lying again? I don't understand why you keep on lying. Uh... Look, you are free as a bird. Do whatever you want. You can learn a new profession or do good to people in this world. But you don't want any of it. Also, I can't imagine the kind of man you chose to be with. So pitiful. He's the most pathetic man I've ever seen. I don't think that you're using your head sometimes. Can you tell me the truth for once? I can. I'm in love with him. I'm in love with him. For the first time ever, I'm in love. And he loves me back. 
And you? You... All right. Let's get a divorce then. Her son's gone. <laughs> and we have become... strangers to each other. <laughs> this is quite shocking. Because at long last you have managed to come up with something that's actually very sensible. Let's do it. Only let me warn you now. I'm not leaving barefoot in a sackcloth. No way. I wasted all those years with you to get nothing. No, you won't have to leave. I will let you keep this house. There is nothing here that I need. I will also leave you some money, so you don't have to worry. But on one condition. As long as you are still married to me, officially. And I want you to behave. Because I am ashamed to look people in the eye now because of you. You are throwing yourself at him all over the place. When we are divorced, do as you please. I'll think about it. And then your father moved into that apartment not long after that fight. Mm -hmm. He didn't have time to file for a divorce. He was busy at the winery. You must know... I mean, you can see that that slick bastard has limitless influence over your mother. Perhaps the house was not enough for them. They didn't want to share any properties. They wanted to get everything at once. I'm not saying that Sergei killed him. But these days I fear a human life is not worth much. Um, you can easily hire a mercenary who will take care of it in the blink of an eye. And to be honest, the nephew of Agiv is good at finding those kinds of people, mark my words. Victor! Victor! Victor, we need to talk. I need to tell you something. Mom, what are you doing here? We have nothing to talk about. That's not true, honey. Let's go to a cafe, we can talk there. Please, honey, come on, let's go now. Thank you. Mm -hmm. 
Listen, Mom, I have every reason in the world not to be sitting here and talking to you right now. <laughs> what are you talking about? Are you trying to dig some old dirt on me? Be careful. You might end up regretting it later. Yes. <laughs> You're roaming the town and chatting with strangers. I'm your mother. Look at you, I noticed that you've lost some weight ever since you came here, honey. And what's that shirt you're wearing? I'm wearing my friend's shirt. Oh, son, you're just like your old man. Cut it out, will you? Why don't you let me buy you a new shirt, then? If I need a shirt, I can buy one myself. Really? Of course. Are you sure? I didn't know you had some money. I'm amazed. Now that your dad's no longer around, how exactly are you going to make a living? I'll go get a job. Hard to imagine? No, I can't imagine. I can't imagine how someone can live well off one salary alone. I'm sorry, honey, I'm sorry. Listen, my dear, I understand that your father drew up his will unfairly. It was his decision. It was out of my hands. But I want to make things right by you. I know that you're hurt. And you know... I kept asking your father to buy you an apartment in Moscow. Sadly, he wouldn't listen to anything I said. He used to say, No, Victor will finish his studies and come back here. <laughs> come back here? Really? So yes, I want to make up for your father's mistakes. Honey, let me give you some money. A lot of money to get you set up. I'm here. Why didn't you bother waking me up? You told me not to disturb you, Miss Evgenia. Uh, you're such an idiot. What? Don't just stand there. Book me the earliest flight. The next flight doesn't have business class. I hate everything. This is a complete nightmare. Relax. You'll fly tomorrow. What's all the fuss about? It's none of your business. I got an idea. You must drive me there, okay? Understood? All right. But it's going to be a long trip. It wouldn't be like going to the nearest club. Fine, anyway, I want to know how ordinary people live. Get ready. I'll pack my stuff and we'll go right away. Hmm. How much time do I have? I need five to six hours. I'll need an entirely different set of clothes for this road trip. Understood. Hurry up! This is unacceptable. Ugh. I'll sell the house. And then you can buy yourself the apartment of your dreams in Moscow. Something that's perfect for you. You mentioned to me once that you have a girlfriend. What's the matter, honey? So, um... Take this. Consider that your first installment. So that's what it's all about. Correct me if I'm wrong, Mom. Did you want to buy me off? Do you want to leave things as they are? You want me to stop digging into Dad's case, am I right? So that you can continue living your life with your stupid lover? Don't you dare. Don't you dare. He was the one who stood by me when I went through hardship. You weren't even there for me, and yes, I know you might not believe this, but he takes care of me. He loves me. He's always there for me. He adores me. He supports me in any way he could. He does. He truly does. He loves me. Oh my goodness, Victor. Sergei gives me compliments. He simply adores me. When I'm with him, I feel like I'm a woman and not just an ordinary housewife. Do you even understand? By the way, your old man never had time to give me any of those little things. Will you please stop? I can't take this anymore. Are you saying that you lied to him when he was still alive? You got involved with Sergei a long time ago, right? It was the two of you, the both of you. Both of you set it all up. 
because you wanted my dad's inheritance. I'm gonna find the person responsible for my dad's death. And you know, I don't give a damn about what the police say. I don't even care about that fake suicide note. Clearly, you both did this. That's enough. You're insane. You're clearly insane, Victor. When your father was still around, he told me that he'll leave everything to me, that even if we part ways, there won't be any reason for me to plot his death. Yeah. Yes. And then again, your father had not been faithful to me as well. Yes. Are you surprised to know that? Well, don't be. Go on and ask that holier-than-thou Mr. Pavel Ivanov. I'm certain he'll be able to corroborate my story. Keep your voice down, Mom. Think it over. Think it over, honey. I don't want you to destroy your life, because you mean the world to me. You're my life, son. Victor, I'm begging you. Leave this place. Listen, Mom, I'm not going anywhere. But you can go. All right, then. Just tell me when you need the money. You can have all of it. Don't jump to conclusions, son. There he is. Hello. Good day, gentlemen. Hello there. So listen, just like I told you, I asked all the neighbors. I did it casually so that no one would suspect a thing. Nobody saw anything. I don't know why everybody's keeping their mouths shut. Are they scared to speak up? Why would they be scared? Nobody told the cops anything. They're all completely clueless. That's bad. But there is this guy who can help us. I'll go get him now. Keep an eye on him. He's dangerous. He won't let his mother sell the winery. No, he has no say in that. We have to get rid of him. <clears throat> No, I don't want to be involved in that mess. Let's keep this on the back burner. Let fate handle this. Sometimes fate has a mysterious way of dealing with things. Just look at what happened to a stupid old man. We came out on top and we got what we wanted without blood in our hands. I don't think we'll be able to pull it off again. Follow him. That's what you should all be doing. That scumbag. He's snooping around. He's seeking revenge. And he'll do anything. He'll be a nuisance to us. That's what I'm worried about. Hey, listen. I don't get why we can't just take him out of the picture entirely. Because I'm a changed man. I'm now Mr. Ilya Agiv. I must abide by the law. Times have changed. The Roaring Nineties is over. Things must be done in an orderly manner. Okay, do you get it now? So now stop acting like a second-grade gangster. I've been telling you all this for so long. Just drop it. Go, and you should talk to Ella. Find out everything from her. Follow them and report back to me. Keep in mind that no good deed goes unpunished. Do you understand what I'm saying? Is that clear? <sighs> Is there anything else that you'd like to order? So on that day... I was late catching a train. Uh-huh. Actually, I was leaving for a business trip, so I was in a bit of a hurry. I noticed that the door was half opened. I believe it was around noon. I was waiting for my wife. She was going to drive me to the train and? station. Your apartment is located just two floors below mine. The walls are well built, but I could still hear sounds coming from below. I heard one male and one female. Oh. The woman was shouting profusely. While I was busy packing my suitcase, I heard someone going down the stairs. I'm certain it was a woman. Tell us more! I heard her footsteps. I heard a clacking sound like clack, clack, clack. So why didn't you inform the police about this? Yeah, why didn't you tell the cops anything? Well, nobody asked me. Oh, so nobody asked him. I just came back from my business trip yesterday. <sighs> I see. 
I almost missed my train because of that. And are you absolutely certain that it happened precisely on that day? Of course I am. I still have my train ticket. I can show it to you. Alright, then show them. One second. Here it is. Right there. Yeah. Well, it all checks out. Thank you. Hmm. Good luck. Thanks for Have your a time. nice day. You have a nice day. Uh-huh. Well, like what I said, he's our guy, right? Thank you very much. No worries. Let's go and check out the apartment tonight. Pavel, there are some things that I want to ask you. I need you to be honest with me. Did my father have an affair? I know that you two were friends and you don't want to betray him. I need to know this, though, so I can figure it all out. Victor... You're a man now. I hope that you'll understand. When your father came back from the army, he wanted to get married. And then... Your father met this very nice woman. Her name's Valentina. She adored your old man. I had the opportunity to meet her. She's a great person. A good life partner to your old man. She's kind and caring, and she had a beautiful voice. She loved your father unconditionally. Tell me what happened next. And then... Then he met... Then he met your mother. She's such a stunner. She's one of a kind. I guess Valentina couldn't really compete with your mother. With Ella... Everything happened so fast. He added things with Valentina. Your father told me that he's been waiting for a woman like Ella. When Valentina found out, she was devastated. But still, she kept waiting for him. Did he meet with Valentina after he was married? Hmm, I don't know. Well, I can't really say. You think she killed him? Out of jealousy? No, I don't think so. She's not capable of that. Well, it's not a matter of whether Valentina's capable or not. Anyway, do you happen to have her address or her phone number? Sarkova. That's her last name. I believe she lives in the Sandy Settlement. It's quite near, and she works at the vineyard. She's living a simple life. Valentina Starkova, got it. Pull over there. Thank you so much, Mr. Evgenia. It's my first time at the Black Sea. Such an amazing view. Yes, but it's nothing like Cote d'Ivoire. I agree. But it's beautiful nonetheless. How long is this drive gonna be? Long enough. Getting there is not like going to the nearest club. We're driving across the entire coast. Oh, this can't be happening. I should have gone by plane instead. Right. Let's make a quick stop so that we can rest for a couple of hours. Let's go now. Right. Whatever you wish, Miss Evgenia. Right. Good afternoon. Uh, hello there. Hello. 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 We'd like to speak with Miss Valentina Starkova. Valentina? Today's not a good mm. time, you know. We still have quite a lot of work to do. Mm. Uh, here, take oh, this. Oh, well... Her relative's here. What? Are you her nephew? 
Mm. Yes. Oh, oh, she's been waiting for you for three years and you didn't even bother to show up. Shame on you. Well, all right, young man. I'll let you see your aunt then. Valentina! Hey, Valentina! You've got visitors! Valentina, your nephew's here. Don't you recognize him? Don't just stand there. Give him a hug. He's not my nephew. I don't recognize him at all. Who the heck are you? Did Alexei send you? Good afternoon, Miss Valentina. No, he didn't send us. We just wanted to talk to you. Can't you see that I'm at work? I'm quite busy. Um... Who are you? Excuse us, Miss Valentina. Here's the thing. I'm Oleg, and this... Young man is Victor Pagodin. So does my name ring a bell? You're Ella's son. What do you need from me? I think you know pretty well what I need. You know about my father. Go away. I have nothing to tell you, young man. I'm well aware that you and your mother did this to him. He was a strong man. Get a hold of he yourself, could have lived please, Miss Valentina. You monsters! Please. You hey, 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 hey. Your father! I know you did. Both of you, you, you have the audacity to bring chaos here. into our workplace. Get the heck out of here! You murdered him. How did you do? We Come didn't on, know that she'd be now. like this. And what are you trying to say? <laughs> Valentina is the kindest person that I've known. They're monsters. You come falling out of the woodwork, disturbing good they folks. Kill She's out of her mind. Do you see how she lunged at us? She's clearly hiding something. I find it rather suspicious. Get out of here! We have to follow her around. Hey, are you out of your mind? Yes, it was a total failure. Being a detective is a hard job. It's not for us. You know what Litvinov told me? Find out what your dad was like and you'll know what happened to him. Here's how our usual conversation went. Hello? Hello? Son, I sent you some money. Dad, I have a bad connection. Bye. He never told me anything about the wine business. Because I wasn't interested. Yeah. Check this out. Nothing too fancy. Just a simple wine glass. Yes, this used to be in our house. It must be very old. My dad gave it to mom during their wedding. My mom loves fancy things, but my dad isn't into that. One time he visited me in Moscow. I remember we went to this cozy and luxurious restaurant. And when he was about to pay, he took out his old worn down wallet. I felt sorry for him. I rushed over to the nearest store and bought him a new wallet. When I gave it to him, he looked at me and asked, Victor, how much did this wallet cost you? He saw the price tag and told me, I can't use something this expensive. I looked at him and told him, Dad, just consider it as a gift. Please take it with you. He replied, if that's the case, then I'll take it. And then just a week ago, I found the wallet inside my dad's desk drawer. It turned out he never used it at all. He kept it there. He cherished and held on to it like a precious gift. He was right. Why should we care about it? We won't take these to the grave. <laughs> I only got three mugs. One for me, for you, and for Ekaterina. <laughs> That's all I need. <laughs> It's ready. Here. Ooh. Here you go. Looks delicious. Have some. Here, Oleg. Mmm. <laughs> it's been a while since we had the savory broth. It isn't just a broth. It's a sour soup. Even better. Thank you. Your dad is lucky to have you. Mm. I wish I was lucky as him. <laughs> On second thought, you're too stubborn. You do things your own way. <laughs> you're too bossy. <laughs> Why aren't you eating? You don't like it? 
Well, I'm still good, thank you. Are you upset because of Miss Tarkova? I haven't found a clue. I don't know what to do. Maybe she was right. I should have just hired a private investigator. Who's she? Well, Zhenya. Mmm. Mm. All right then, enjoy your meal. I'll try to talk to Miss Tarkova tomorrow. Mm-hmm. You're gonna go talk to her? Do you know where she lives? In the middle of nowhere. Yes, I'll go to the middle of nowhere then. I'm free tomorrow anyway. Mm-hmm. By the way, Victor, our investigators report directly to the police. I'm afraid that nobody can help you. <sighs> All right, I'll go now. See you. Yes. Enjoy your meal. Oh, thank, thank you. you. Mm. Walk her home. Can't you see I'm eating? Well... <clears throat> Come on, go now! Hurry up! Katya! Katya! Katya, wait for me! Have you ever wanted to move to Moscow? To Moscow? No, there's no sea there. <laughs> well, it's not like you go swimming here every day. No, I don't swim. But I love to look at the sea. There are more opportunities in Moscow. Will I find happiness there? You can build happiness anywhere. Hmm. Yes, that's a nice way to put it. What are your plans anyway? Oh, well, I don't know. Write poetry. Make soups. Well, I just want to love and be loved. And I want to have kids someday. How's that working out? Not too well so far. All right then, I'll see you soon. Sure. Good night, see you. Good night, see you. Good night. Take care. Katya, Ekaterina. Not from around no. here, are you? No, I'm a townie. A townie? I'm on a business trip, and unfortunately, I missed my bus. Uh -huh. Now I have to wait for an hour. Oh, I see. Our town is too far away from here. I'm trying to fix up some things mm -hmm. here. Do some repairs, so I could take my mind off some things. Let me help you, then. You? Yes. <laughs> <laughs> can you handle it, Of course it, I can. All right, then. Go I'll on, show, show you. me what you can do. All right. <laughs> Here. Look at you, Tony. <laughs> all right, go on. I'm a fast learner. All right, all right. See? Here it nice. goes. Nice. <laughs> Just doing with your left hand. I'm a lefty. We can finish this right away. Uh-huh. Here we go. <laughs> okay, lefty. Spread it thicker then. Let spread it soak thicker. in, all right? All right? <laughs> Do you know what your father started with? Mm hmm Your father scraped Argyll off the walls of the barrels. He would get in the barrel just to scrape it all off. <laughs> he did that? Yes, of course. No way, you could get stuck in there. No, it's not possible. It's designed to prevent that issue. I must say that only those with passion and determination are able to take on That's that incredible. Job. Anyway... Is there any chance I could try it? You could, but you need to be careful. I just saw Sergei. There was this guy who was with him earlier. They said that the guy is some sort of an expert. I didn't know what they wanted. 
Unfortunately, without Mikhail, they're able to ruin the order of things here. What are you trying to say? Well, we've never artificially modified our wine. We wait. We let it age. Your father wanted to protect the company's image, its reputation. You understand? Other winemakers don't wait long enough. They alcoholize their wine and then they sell them as vintage wine. You got it? Imagine how much money they're making. It's despicable. Now, winemakers are just out here to make a lot of profit. Ella, my dear, I think it's time we sold the winery. I know nothing about the business, but Mr. Boris, he's an expert in winemaking. No, I'd like to know if he can get a better offer. My darling, you're making a big mistake. In order for you to get a better offer, you need to understand the essence of what's going on down there. The thing is, I'm well aware that your late husband had some trouble in running the whole business. I need to know the ins and outs of that business. All the numbers, the production data and its volume. These things must be done to find a good buyer. All documents must go through checking and verification, if you know what I mean. Um, I also need to prepare all sorts of paperwork. You don't plan on doing that, do you? Oh, no. No, of course not. Oh, darling, could you please bring out the folder that contains all the factory's records? Do you remember? It's the folder that was filed away in Mr. Mikhail's office. I yes. prefer not to go in there. Yes, yes, of course. I'll be back. <laughs> <laughs> Thank you, darling. Oh. <clears throat> Listen to me, mister. You must stick to the numbers that my uncle gave you, okay? I can assure you that I'd do anything that Mr. Ilya tells me to. Don't worry. Yes, and I want you to spread some rumors that her husband's business had been going downhill recently. I know it's a sure way to drive the prices down. So, is Mr. Ilya making this purchase? What's the purpose of doing this? Yes, my uncle's making this purchase for himself. He wants to ramp up the entire winemaking business in the region. Mm. And by the way, the factory that's being managed by Mr. Vashurkin also belongs to my uncle. He's buying out all the wine manufacturing businesses in the area. This is strictly confidential. Of course, I won't say a word. You can count that your secret is safe with I me. hope so. I don't want that stupid old cow to find out about this. Let's keep things between the two of us. <laughs> I must say you put it so elegantly. Old cow. <laughs> Thank you. Stupid old cow. <laughs> Just stick to the plan. Yes, you can count on me. And this is the reason why I've lived my entire life childless. Thank you. Because of that man. And now, here I am telling you all this. I don't know why. Thank you. And you... you wanted to have children with him? That would have made you happy? Yes, it would. I wanted it so much. One time I came to him. And I told him, Mikhail, listen to me. I want to have a child with you. I want it more than anything. And then? What could he say? I told him that I don't need anything. I don't need marriage and alimony. I'm all alone and I'm certain that I'm not going to have a child with anybody else because he's the only one I love. I truly believe that children should be conceived out of love. Of course. Then he looked at me and said, <laughs> Forgive me, Valentina. I feel so sorry for you. But I love my wife. Oh. <sighs> 
And then once in a million years, he'd drop by, sit silently, and just leave. I loved him. I felt happy when I was with him. I prayed for him every night. All I wanted was to see him happy. Do you know how many men asked for my hand in marriage? I rejected all of those handsome men because I was in love with him. And now here I am, all alone. But I don't regret my decision. Here are the papers. Mr. Thanks, Horace, darling. could you look through them for me? I'd love to know your thoughts. With your permission, could I take all the papers with me? Yes, please take them. I fully trust you. I consider you as one of my good friends. I'm glad that you do. Well, I have a job to do. I'll get going now, all right? May I offer you some wine? No. I must say the wine here is thank of top you, quality. You. Unfortunately, I can't have any due to health reasons. I'll see you. Thanks. See you. Have a good day. I understand. Thanks for coming, Mr. Boris. We appreciate your help. Thanks again. Have a nice day. Why am I telling you all this? You're still too young to understand any of this. No, Aunt Valentina. I do understand. I got pregnant at 17 by a man I had loved. And then? He left me. And then I had an abortion. What were you thinking? Why did you do that? Why didn't you tell your mom about it? My mother passed away. It happened when I was just a baby myself. I decided not to tell my dad, because I was too ashamed. All right. It looks like you're going to miss your bus again. Tell me everything now. Just pour your heart out. Come on, dear. So have you ever seen him since? I have, and I still do. I still see the guy every day. How come? Here you go, darling. Darling, is there anything that you would like to tell me? Well, did you know that Mr. Boris is an excellent specialist? <laughs> I think that he'll be able to help. By the way, what is your impression of him? I don't doubt he's a professional. Hmm. I was more impressed by how you called me a stupid old cow when you were talking with him. <laughs> darling, what are you saying? You must have misheard what I said. Mm. <laughs> That's all nonsense. <laughs> My darling, do you really think that I'm that old to have such severe hearing impairments? Let me tell you a secret then. Hmm? That darn folder that I gave to him, well, just so you know, it doesn't contain any records from Mikhail's factory. What? What? Yes, I put some DIY magazines in it. I just thought that a businessman like Mr. Boris would find it interesting. Are you crazy? I guess I am. And that is only if I continue to allow you to call me a stupid old cow behind my back. Where are the files? I said, where are the documents from Mikhail? I hid them carefully, and you will never find them. Oh my goodness. What a cross to bear. Why didn't you tell him about it? Mm -mm. I'm not going to tell him. You know him, Aunt Valentina. What do you mean? He came to visit you at the vineyard when you were working. Hmm. Well, two guys visited me recently. One was tall and handsome. Mm -hmm. One had nice hair. <laughs> yes. And he was tall. Mm -hmm. And he was handsome as well. The one with astonishingly bright hair is Oleg. And the other tall guy is Mikhail Pagodin's son. Please forgive me, Aunt Valentina. I have to confess something to you. What? Darling, aren't we a team? Do we not trust each other anymore? Mm. You invited me to live in Italy. Didn't you tell me that I was your only true love? Didn't you tell me that you'd always love me? Give me the documents. No. What? You heard me. <laughs> All right. All right, then. We need them for a common cause. Both of us need those documents. Really? <laughs> you know, it turns out my son Victor has always been right about you. I shouldn't have trusted you at all. All right. Where is he? So have you given him some money yet? No, I didn't give him money. And darling, I'm not going to give you either because that's my money. I pawned my late husband's diamonds to get this amount. What? All of them? Mm-mm. Only a part of them. Will you give me a break? Stop asking me all these questions. Oh, so that's how you want to play now. Mm-hmm. 
Well, I know about your little secret. When Mikhail was killed, I was out of town while you were just here. And you know what? I had an airtight alibi. Yes, one time while you were in public, you said, I'd gladly kill him with my own hands. And I have witnesses who can corroborate the entire thing, understand? Come on, give me the documents right now! <gasps> Kyle ended his own life! Really? That's exactly ended what happened! Really? Ended his own life? That's utter nonsense! You know that's a load of crap, just like his will! You're not doing this! I am! Give me the papers! No I said, way. give me the papers now! No. Give them to me! Give me the papers! No. Good afternoon. I'm sorry I let myself in. Mademoiselle, who are you? I'm Shenya. I'm Victor's fiance. What's going on here? Are you guys celebrating or something? Hello. Good afternoon. Uh, excuse us, Valentina, but please tell us, were you at Mr. Mikhail's apartment that day? It's just that we found something there. Is this yours? Get that thing out of my face. I'll tell you everything without it. Yes, I was there. I was. He invited me over for a chat. You see, Valentina, when I'm troubled, I always turn to you. For old time's sake. Are you still angry with me? Don't worry. I'm used to it. You can tell me anything. I'm here to listen. I don't even know where to start. Uh... I'm surrounded, Valentina. I'm surrounded on all fronts. I'm like the hunted prey. By whom? There's this one man. He wants to ruin my reputation. He wants to take over my business. And he's willing to do anything to bring me down. Ella is having an affair. Well, you know that. <sighs> she won't even deny it. So I decided to file for a divorce. I'm leaving the house to her. How about the winery? I'll bear this cross myself. Victor is not interested, but that's okay. I hope that... someday I'll have a change of heart. Mikhail... Let's just run away. Things like that could happen. Some people start over at 52. I love you, Mikhail. I want to be with you. I just want you by my side. I want you to be happy. Please just tell me what to do. I'll do anything for you, Mikhail. Valentina, Bashurkin is a powerful man. He stole our wine. He stole it and named it. <gasps> Called it the Three Queens. <sighs> Valentina. My dear Valentina, forgive me for being a fool. I ruined your whole life as it is. I'm sorry if I called you. I realized I shouldn't have done that. I shouldn't have brought you into this mess. Go on with your life and be happy. You deserve it, Valentina. Go on without me. Mikhail, I can't live without you. You're my whole life. I live and breathe for you. Mikhail. I've never heard that from anyone. Never from my wife. Never from my... from my son. I've never heard it from anyone. Please forgive me. Yes. You know what? He was acting weird. He must have felt that something bad was going to happen to him. He was saying goodbye. And as for the factory, he told me that he wanted to leave it to you. Victor, he didn't want to leave it to your mother. He valued his business above all. He wanted you to continue what he started. I'm not an expert. But I heard that the will... Stated that your mother, Ella, would inherit everything that your dad owned. I think you should... Confirm its validity. 
They're saying that it's impossible for your dad to have written a will like that, and I have to agree with them. All right, excuse me. I have to go now. Uh, hold on a second. Wait, Miss Valentina, let me call you a cab. No, there's no need. I'll take a walk. I want to clear up my mind. Okay, if you say so. Oh, by the way, one more thing. His diaries. I kept them for him. He asked me not to show them to anyone. Your father asked me to guard them carefully. And I did try. Now that he's gone, you can keep them. <laughs> Valentina. Thank you very much. <laughs> Let me tell you this, Victor. He never cheated on your mother. I was more of a friend to him than a lover. I have no doubt of that now. Thank you very much for your hospitality, Miss Ella. <laughs> but where can I see your son, Victor? Is he coming here soon? I miss him so much. Well, I don't know what to say. You're taking the bull by the horns. <laughs> and who's that man? He's a relative. Hi, good afternoon to you. So, do you know where I can find Victor? He's not answering any of my calls. Is he busy with the inheritance matters? Oh no, my darling. The inheritance is completely irrelevant. Victor's father left everything to his wife. Does that bother you? What will bother me is if you continue to talk to me in that sarcastic oh. tone. My dad has enough money for the two of us, so no thanks. Ella, your son must be very lucky then. Uh, Zhenya, tell me, are you studying or working already? Didn't Victor tell you anything about me? <laughs> um, oh well. Um, this is my dad. He provided me with all the things I need. With a dad like him, I don't really need to work. That makes sense. <laughs> no. Victor didn't tell me anything about your father or what he does for a living, but I do know that my son is madly in love with you. That's nice. Yes. So, will you please tell me where I can find Victor? As far as I know, he's visiting Mr. Pavel at the winery. He's Pogodin's right-hand man. By the way, that son of yours is digging up non-existent evidence against me. Can you imagine that? It's crazy. He has a nice sense of humor. Be more specific. Where exactly can I find Victor? Well, let me take you to him then. I know where Victor usually goes off to. All right. Did you travel by car? Of course. It would make sense to leave your car here and go in my car. Don't worry, I have a really nice car waiting. I'm not the type that would worry. Shall we? <sighs> have a great day. After you. Hmm. <laughs> The Diamond King Nikolai Gisellev to celebrate his anniversary in Paris. <laughs> All right then, folks. I'm going now. Hey, Victor. What if Valentina's right about it? Uh, about the will? Hold on a sec. Why are you in such a hurry? Are you going to bring some booze to Alec? <laughs> no, I'm bringing food. His landlord hasn't shown up, and I can't let him starve. See ya. See you. All Take right, care. see ya. How did you pull this off? I mean, with Valentina. Oh, um, I found this book once by some psychologist. I remember this great quote from the book. If you want to make a person talk freely, tell them your most intimate story. Wow. And what story did you tell her? A scary one. You don't share anything with me. Although you and I are... Well, we're friends. And even more than that. You're wrong about that. No, I'm not wrong. I'm not wrong. Back when we were in school together, I thought I only liked you. But now I'm certain that it's more than just an infatuation. I've only spent a couple of days with you, and although we do nothing but work on this case, Katya, when I'm with you, I forget about everything. 
and Moscow. Do you want to hang out for a bit? All right. Aren't you cold? Not yet. We've arrived. All right. Could you open the door for me? Uh-huh. Of course I could. Thank you. After you, mademoiselle. Thank you. There he is. Sergei, thank you for taking me here. No worries. <laughs> Good afternoon. Hi, I'm Yevgenia, Victor's fiance. What? And you are? I'm. I'm his friend. I'm going now. <laughs> well, I won't bother you anymore. See you Katya. later. Katya! Katya, hold on! You're out of your mind if you go after her! Why are you here? You should leave now! Katya. You see it now, didn't I tell you? He doesn't want you. But I do. I came here because I love you and I miss you. I don't care. I didn't ask you to come here. I need space and time from things. I don't have much time. We're going to Paris. Do you hear me? I'm not flying to Paris. You got it? Okay, if you won't fly, we can go by car. Come on. I'm going to take you home. Katya, get in the car now. Come on, come on. Get in. Stop crying. It'll be fine. I'll take care of you. You can stop crying. We can go on a road trip together. It'll be great. You don't get it. It's not about going by car or it's by plane. It's about that girl, it's isn't it? It's about her. Katya! Um, is that woman your first love? How romantic. Am I right? Right. Oh, baby. Wait up, where are you going? Listen to me first. I'm not blaming you, and I understand how you feel. When people see their first love again, they think that love will somehow be rekindled, but it won't. It's an illusion, an absolute illusion. You've grown, and you can no longer take back the person that you were. And no, I'm not jealous of someone like her. Why the heck would I be jealous of that freaking woman? Uh, so aside from that girl, is there any other reason? Earlier, I met a woman, and she told me that my father's will might have been forged. He almost disinherited me. He left everything to my mom. I find that rather interesting. Well, my father has a lot of lawyer friends, and they'd be more than happy to handle this matter for you. Anything else? She also gave me his diaries. These contain a lot of info about my dad and hopefully about his enemies, too. I haven't read them yet, but I hope they can shed some light on things. Great! You can read them on our way to Moscow. By the way, I learned a lot about your mother. That guy earlier, Sergei, is your mother's lover, am I right? Right. This reminds me of that Shakespeare play. I believe it's called King Lear? I believe it's called Hamlet. Hamlet, 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 that's it. We have to go now. Listen, we can't bring your dad back. Let the cops do their job. You don't really need to be involved in the investigation. I'm going to help you. Zhenya, I want to do this myself. You won't be able to handle this yourself, okay? 